Yahweh is the true name of the Holy Father who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Holy Father's Son, the Son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We want to give double honors to our apostles and to our elders of Great Millstone. That's right. We all learn this truth from. And peace and blessings goes to the whole four elect. That's right. Our brothers that are out in the highways pushing his word and his truth and sincerity. The Lord blessed us another day to do his work and to prophesy because we are the prophets of Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai. That's right. And what does a prophet do? They prophesy. When you go into the world of prophecy, basically what you say before, say things before it happens. Because the Lord doesn't just do nothing without warning you, warning you first. And how, and how does he warn you? Yeah. Through the mouth of his prophets. That's right. Okay? And a, and a prophet will speak of the evils and of the troubles that is coming. All right? And a, a lot of our people, they refuse to accept who the true prophets are, man. But the day is coming where they're going to know that a prophet has been among them. That's right. Because all the prophecy that the Lord said is going to happen when it comes to pass. All right? When these people start to see martial when these people start to see great troubles, when they, when they start to see Esau roll in with this all fight each ship, all right, they're going to remember the words that's right, that, the, that the Lord's been telling them through the mouth of his prophets. And they, 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 they don't have no control over the thoughts that, that are inserted into their mind. Right. The Lord's going to put it in your mind. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. This is uh, Sirach 44 and 1. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begot us. The Lord have brought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning. Like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Elijah, King David, King right. Solomon, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Daniel, Moses. All, right, all these great men, we can all learn, we all can learn, that shows us example how to truly serve the Lord. Stay right. faithful no matter what. Like Joshua and Caleb. Yep. That's another great man. Yep. That's, a, that's a, uh, like says, famous man. Yep. All right, because they stay faithful and they stay loyal to, 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 to the Lord's cause. That's right. All right. They didn't they didn't fear the, the other inhabitants like the rest of our people did. All right, they believe in these words. Okay, and these in these scriptures, you gotta believe in what you're reading. All right, and one way that you show that you believe is applying to find find this living by living base your life off these scriptures. Oh, yeah, implement it. Because like Yahweh Shai said, his word is life. That's right. Okay, this is how we live by following after this, following after the ways of righteousness. That's right. What is these people doing? They're following the opposite, the following something totally opposite of righteousness, which is wickedness, man. Right. One more verse, huh? It says, "Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies." Declaring prophecies. Ooh. All right, King David, he was a prophet. Moses, he was a prophet. All right, and we could all learn. Who, who gave who gave him the spirit of this prophecy? Yahweh bless you now. Shut since you that out. Get Michael three uh three and eight. Can I say this out? Declare it says to say something in a solemn manner. Okay, and who's 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 speaking these things in a solemn manner? The prophets, man. Okay, why? Because the message, the message is solemn. Alright, what the Lord is about to bring upon this earth and what he is bringing is extremely solemn. Right. Okay? But people are taking it as a joke. Right. They're taking it, all right, it's never gonna happen. Or, or it's gonna it's gonna happen by the time in another generation. We won't, we won't be allowed to see it. These people are gonna be terribly mistaken, man. All right, you got that, Micah? Yeah. Micah, chapter three, verse eight, and it says, "But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord." Right. The power of God, the Holy Spirit. Right. It's the Holy Spirit that enters into us. Say what. Well, what the Lord wants to say. That's right. To bring out the scriptures that the Lord wants to bring out. To, 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 to bring the message that the Lord wants to speak. All right, we're not out here to speak our own opinions of what we think matters. We were speaking the truth, the 100 percent truth, man. We're speaking the words of Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. And, and the 100 percent of it. We're not we're not sugarcoated things. We're not we're not we're not sparing your feelings like yeah. like it says in Isaiah today. Cry aloud, spare yeah, not. Yeah. What, what are we not supposed to spare your feelings, man? No, we're not. I'm sorry, y'all. Because people's feelings, they get, this word will cut you. All right. But like the scripture says, this word is a two as well. Not only does it cut the hearer, it also can also cut the speaker. All right. That's why you can't be a hypocrite in this. You got to walk in sincerity and truth. 
Right. All right, to know what you're a part of, to know who you're doing this for, to know why you're here. All right, because we're all trying to be saved. But what the said, work out your own salvation with fear and trouble. Fearing what? Fear, fearing the judgments to come? No. But fearing the one that's going to bring it. That's your how question now, shot. Because right. through, the, through the terror of the Lord, persuade men, like the scripture says. Yep. And it says, but truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Right, who's Jacob? Who's Israel? Jacob was a, was, a, was a forefather of Israel, which later his name was changed to Israel, the prince of the Messiah. Okay, now, this is what Jacob is. So called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Indians. You come back to Israel, you come back to Jacob. Alright, and right now, majority of our people are wicked. Yep. Majority of our people are fine, are in darkness, man. And, we're, we're, and not only are we out here to set to warn you, we're all sent to, we're all sent to warn you to repent, to tell you to repent. Alright? To, to, to warn you of the evil like Jonah when he was sent to Nineveh. Alright? He was, was sent to prophesy how Nineveh was destroyed 40 days, 40 nights. And what did the people do? They repented. Alright? They, they, they fasted. Even the animals, the kings, they, he put off his royal garment, his royalty, and put on, they put on a sackcloth. They hung on They don't, they don't want to acknowledge your sins. Because this, this, this world doesn't hold you uh, accountable. Right. You can do whatever the fuck you want, really. Right. You know the number one rule in this place is do without will, whatever makes you happy. And, that, and that's the way to the circle. All right. So go ahead. It's Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Woo! No one of these shall fail. What's not going to fail? These prophecies. That's right. None shall want her mate. For my right, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I always see Jake, you know, on TikTok, they always suggesting books to read. Yeah. And every time it's like, man, read the scriptures, man. That's the main Fuck book. Fuck them other books, man. All right. You read the scriptures, man. This is life. Okay, you can read a you can read a song and it'll be detailing your your, your very emotion in that moment. This book is alive, man. Right. It explains everything. You know, you can you you can see something happen in the Middle East and it's written right there in the scriptures, man. You know? Hey, what do you always shy point this to? Living waters. Yep. Living waters across the flows, man. Right, this book is all you need. It's a book. The only thing this book is made up of prophecies, history, history. and laws, man. In the future. That's right. So that's, that's the only book you really need out here, man. Yeah. yeah. You got all these people trying to uh, uh, try to bring, read and bring out all these books, but have the same audacity to say that the Bible was written by man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they, they, they built. They'll read these books that are written by men. Yeah. Really, just just say you don't believe. Just say that, all right? Just say you don't believe. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth and have commanded and right. his spirit and have gathered them. See? His mouth. Whose mouth? The Lord. He spoke That's right. what's going to happen years before it happens, before it ever happens. That's how you know it's a prophecy. Right, well, all right, go to uh, half, uh, you get half of the 23. Yeah, but it also says, none shall want her mate. So once you get into this book, you're not going to want to see out after all these other dives right. out here. Now, yeah. you might dive into, you know, yeah. a certain book dealing with history, and you like you, a, you, you bring a yeah, paragraph yeah. out of the book or something, yeah, you know? That lines up with the scriptures. Right, right, it's just line up, it's more proof, you know, but you don't need it. You know, we dealing with faith up here, man. Right. And it said, I'm sorry, I, no, go ahead, it go said, ahead. my spirit have gathered them. Gather who? The elect. Okay, so this book is gathering the elect, man. You know, we didn't know each other before this thing. You know, or some of us didn't know each other. Hey, this is the only book that's declaring the end from the very beginning. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. There's no other book out here declaring the end of the world. Right, right. there's an explanation in the scriptures for everything, man. Right. It's a book of warning, limitation, and woe. Especially in this book, so you know what's coming, man. These prophets from the past, you know what you're looking for. That you right. know what the time you're in, man. You should measure out the time diligently in itself, man. So we gotta be on the watch for the prophets, you know. It's the only book that talks about the prophets. It's the only book that's actually proven it. That's right. It's going to the history of things, things. Yeah. It's the, the ocean. You know, it's the um, uh, 
uh, it's called the number one. Uh, uh, what is it? How do they rate it? Uh, best seller. Best seller. Yeah. yeah. It's in the always. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Esau knows the truth in the Bible, man. The elite said it. They know his Bible is the truth, man. That's why they gotta associate so many lies. Yep. Put so much confusion out there to when you come across the truth, it sounds like a lie. Yeah. But it ain't meant for everybody. Go ahead, I. So the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. I'm so sorry. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table. Yeah. I speak, make it easy for people to understand what's going to happen right. in these last days, man. All right, go ahead. It's not a hard thing. Yes. Yeah. It says, and he said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. All, right, all these visions, all these prophecies, because the way that the Lord gave these visions, gave these prophecies is a way of visions. That's why yep. another title for a prophet is a seer, a right. visionary, someone that sees visions. All right, like Daniel, uh, even the Habakkuk, Ezra. Okay, when they saw all these prophecies, in visions, they were frightened. John the Revelator. All right, they were very frightened. Wow, what is, what is, what is the mist? What is, what are those? Those look like arrows coming down from heaven. Right. Those look like a fig. The mist look like a fig tree falling right. down from a tree. Or those look like stars from from heaven. And All we right. know that to be real because you can have things, you can have visions in this time. Brothers put up uh, certain lessons dealing with the dreams they had, and, and, and it's fearful. Yeah. Right. You know, it'll shake you up. You, you ain't even you ain't even have the dream in it. You can feel it. You know, like, oh shit. That's why it says in Surah 34, set not your heart upon him. Let's be sent, sent for the most high. And right. you know it will be the sent for the most high, man. You can waking up with sweat. You sweating, man. If it's dealing with the scriptures, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, if you read about it in Ezra's man, he said, Boy, it's me, boy, it's me. Boy, it's deliver me in those days, man. He saw the destruction of this place. Water getting evaporated with the trees burning, things people he dying. Things he couldn't even understand. Yeah. You know? Way out there, yeah. And that's why when Ezra saw what the Lord was doing, he's like, woe is me! Woe is me! Yeah, that's what that brother just said, yeah. yeah. Oh, you did. <laughs> Go ahead. That's why that brother got to speak up, man. Yeah, yeah. Come Who on, shall man. deliver me in those days? Yeah. And it's like, damn! But he also saw visions of men getting crowned, too. Yeah, yeah. He seen Yahweh coming back. Okay? Yep. It says, uh, oh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, because these visions, like for example, John Revelator with this um, Sirach, oh, uh, Revelation 13 16, when he saw this, it was a vision that the Lord gave him. Yeah. And, um, he was on the island of Patmos. He was the only apostle that made it alive. Alright, he did not he did not he did not die. Because it was meant for him to receive these visions that, that the Lord wanted to, to, to write down the book of Re Revelation. Alright? Right. So so he saw this, he saw this in Revelation 13 and 16. It was a vision that was said to happen at a time where we're getting very close to happening, man. Right. Yeah. Where, where this chip would be mandatory implanted around the whole world, just like how you had to shut down, you had the sea virus, how you had this uh, uh, the jab mandate and all that. This would be implemented around the whole world. And John saw this, yeah. okay, because it is all planned from Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai. And before he does something, he tells you, through the prophets, okay? And he also saw them, the people that received that get destroyed, get right. judged for it. Yeah. You know? He said a lot, man. Even even you have visions today. Like uh he had a brother, I'm the one from from New York, he made a video. Yeah. How he had a vision. I saw many people being chipped. Alright, these high school fellows and all that. Yeah. You know? Because these things are we're getting very close to these things happening. Alright, it's not just gonna this is not, we're not going to go out here and prophesy about it. We're still going to be right in front of your face. Right, he's seen, uh, he wasn't able to buy himself. Yeah, man. He had to leave his spot, all of that, man. Yeah. So that's the soon reality, man. But I have that scripture in the NLT. Oh, okay. Oh, the vision. Oh, okay. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right now, right now, speaking, people like, 
that people that don't believe in these prophecies, I don't mean that's, uh, that that's going to hold the prophecies. It's, it's still right. going to speak, it's still going to come to pass, regardless if you believe or not. You're just going to die in your own faithfulness. It's just like the scripture says. Right, and more and more people are saying that you are thin, goddammit. You didn't see it 10, 10 years ago, but your ass see it now. Yeah. Okay? Your ass on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube talking about it. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3 NLT. The vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If right. it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Okay? This is wait patiently. That's right. That's what we're doing. We're waiting. Like all the pops before us, they were waiting for the, like Jonah, he was waiting for Nineveh yeah, to be destroyed. He got hot. Yeah, yeah. but it was time for Nineveh to be destroyed at that time. Alright, but did the Lord's word go out for it? No, because when you go during the time of, of Tobit and Tobias, Nineveh, sure. it, it, you read it, uh, Tobit told Tobias to leave Nineveh, but the, 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 prophet, the prophet of Jonah's, the prophecy of Jonah's word will come to pass, man. Alright? So what is the Lord saying about this place? The, that America is going to be destroyed. It's okay. a lot of fire. All right. So you have Prophet Jeremiah, Prophet Isaiah. They saw this. They just didn't know that it was America. All right. When, when, when the Prophet Jeremiah saw about when he got all the visions of, of Babylon, he thought it was going to be Babylon was going to be on fire, man. Where is ancient Babylon at? Ancient Babylon is in Iraq. All right. But it was the daughter of Babylon. Right. The daughter, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is this place. All right, no, this place is nothing but confusion. Because that's what, when you go into work of Babylon, the Hebrew word is Babar, which means confusion. And that's all this place brings, man. Yeah, yeah now, now people don't even know the definition of a woman. You know? As uh, Ezekiel 12, 25, For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, in your you gotta go up, you gotta go up. Because it says it's a proverb in Israel. Oh, it's going to verse 23. Isaiah 12 and 23. Tell them. Now go on 21. 21. 21. Ezekiel 12 and 21. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth? Yeah, and the world's not coming. The world's not coming back. I've been saying that, man. Yeah. You said the end of the world gonna happen in 2007. 2000. 2000. Uh, what's 2012. that? 12. Y2K. Yeah. A lot of people would say the world is not ending. They would be like, look at 2012. Was it 2012? Uh, when they thought the, the world. Movie? Yeah. When they oh, the Mayan calendar. Yeah. When they thought the world uh, was gonna end. Yeah. 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 They say like slur. About how that the end of the world is going to happen. Right. Right. Well, it's been happening since the Lord came. That was the beginning of it. Yeah. It's a process, man. But whose world are we talking about? When people think about the end of the world, they think about the whole earth is going to be destroyed. Right. Not considering that when it says in the scriptures that the earth abides forever. Right. Right. The world that's going to come to an end is Esau's world. This Esau. present world. It's so corrupt, this world. All this wickedness. All this shit that's, that, that's here on earth that's all going to come to an end, man. All right. Well, somebody's dying. Like not dying like judgment, like car crash time, but like like dying of old age. So it's a process, man. You know, the motherfuckers just don't turn over and you know, it's a process. they slowly dying, man. So this place is slowly dying. You know? Going down the drain. Yeah. Ever since our rivers came on the scene, man. Yeah. Yeah. Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying? The days are for long, and every vision faileth. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make the proverb cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb of Israel. Because you don't know when these prophets come to pass, you don't know that a prophet of Israel will come. You don't know that, you know, you don't know that you're in the time of what these prophets have been saying. Yep. Alright, go ahead. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. But there shall be no more any vain vision for flattering to the nation within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Right, because his words do not go out for him. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. That's right. If he said he's going to do something, he's going to do it. All right, and it's, a, it's a the Lord's will. This is part of his plan, his purpose, his counsel to have this place destroyed. Before he destroys this place, he's going to be famine, plagues, 
He's gonna bring pestilence to bring the sword as amendment. Okay? Like it says in second Ezra, the sixth chapter, man. Uh, but you people are still not gonna take heed. You're still not gonna acknowledge your sins, man. Therefore, he's gonna bring what? That fire. Right. Alright? Because like like it's like Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai said the days of the Son of Man shall be as the days of Noah. Alright? Oh, that God. they were partying, they were bullshitting, alright? Right before the flood. Before the flood came. And it's not like they knew the flood was coming because they had Noah, which was a preacher of righteousness, which was a sign of the flood before it even happened. Well, look, look, look what happened. Look what happened to him. Look how they treated him. That he was scoffed. He was mourned. He there, uh, was scoffed at. He was laughed at, man. Okay, because they thought he was crazy. To how how it was going Just like how they think it, we're crazy coming out here saying America's gonna be destroyed. They say, she well, why don't you leave America? You still here? All right. Well, the Lord's gonna deliver us, man. That's another prophecy, how he's going to save his elect. Right. I got a precept. Uh, uh, For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more for long for your days for rebellious house. I will say the word and will perform it. Say the Lord power. All right, in your days, you're going to see it. You're going to witness it. You're going to feel it. Hey, what do you have I say? Not, uh, uh, all this should be fulfilled in, in this generation. And the generation back back when well, back then when we was when our, when our Lord Yahweh Shai came as a man, it's back here today. Alright, and they're about to witness and, and experience all the all the all the prophecies that, that, that Yahweh Shai prophesied about, man. Right. You go into Matthew 24, that consists of prophecies that's gonna happen today. And this time we had uh that was you had prophecies of that consist of uh what's gonna happen, the the, the besieging of Jerusalem. And when the Lord told our people that he was going to destroy the, the temple and build it again, they didn't understand what he was saying. You know, they didn't understand that Jerusalem was going to be uh, invaded and, you know, and sacked. But well, then was, they yeah, found out. Yeah, and then they found out. Yeah, you had some that took heed. You had some that didn't listen. Yeah. You got to be sent out. It's uh, Sirach 39 and 16. All the works of the Lord are exceeding good. And whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished and do cease. Right. All the works of the Lord are exceedingly good. The works that the Lord is going to do in these last days are good because when he brings his work, that means that means these people are going to be the next one to go. Because this, this is all to fulfill the end of Esau's world. All right, so it's good, like like the, like the gospel, good news. It's good news to good news to us, man. That our oppression, our captivity is almost up. Alright? Read that last part again? Uh it's a uh, Sirach 39 and 16, it says, All the works of the Lord are exceeding good, and whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished in due season. Right, when he wants it to be accomplished, because the Lord has an exact time for right. this place to be destroyed. Yeah, that word do, D-U-E, it means perfect or right. Right. So at the perfect season, the Lord's going to bring everything, man. That's right. That's, that's right. Go ahead. It's uh, the book of Mark. Chapter 13, I'll start at uh I'll start at 30, 30. It says, Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Right, so all these prophecies be fulfilled, the generation shall not pass. That, all right, that, like I said earlier, these the, the same that, that generation I was around when Yahweh Shai was around when he came as a man is here today, man. And this time they're not gonna meet Yahweh Shai as a man. Like it says in Isaiah 47, another prophecy. Alright? It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But at that day and that hour, knoweth no man, know not the angels which are in heaven, neither the sun. Right, so that exact time that the Lord, Yahweh, has this place to be destroyed, that exact hour, no one knows. Not the angels, not, 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 not man, not Yahweh shall himself, but, but he, Yahweh. Okay, he knows that time. All right, and each, each day, each minute, or is, is each day, each minute that goes by this place, we're getting closer to that time. All right, we just gotta wait and have patience. Be patient, man. All right, you gotta, you, you gotta be on the Lord's time, not ours. Of course, we want this place to be destroyed. Yeah. What do you think the Lord's doing? Uh, recently, scientists uh, 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 revealed that the Earth is, is, is spinning faster than usual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they have no idea why. Yeah, we, we know why. Go to that same future. Go to uh, uh, Matthew 24, right? Oh, okay, I got you. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. 
That's why he's speeding up the time. He's yeah. having all these tribulations, all these right. turmoils come upon earth, man. Uh, he's speeding up the time so his prophecy, so his work comes to pass. That's right. Best believe it, man. The Lord, he wants to place the story right now. But he's right. subject to his word. He said he put his word over his name. Right. You know? Right. And this, he already had all this mapped out before he even created all of this, man. Right. Uh, second and six chapter, man. You know? Yeah. I got some. Yeah. Uh, so it says, pray for a few days unto you that he that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Yeah, like yeah, like how I said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Each member of the elect represents the kingdom of heaven, man. That's the start. Okay. Uh, Esau, Esau scientists have said the earth is spinning. Uh, faster than 24 hours. It's finishing such a cycle faster than 24 hours. Alright. All for the election. Yeah. It's Daniel's 2 and 21. And he changes the times and the seasons. No, stop, no, stop for 20. Daniel's 2 and 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He yeah, removed yeah. kings and he set it up kings. So we're coming to the time where he's about to move this king. Yeah. All right. And those kings is referring to Esau. Yeah. All right. He, he put this man in power. He set this man up. That's why Yahweh Shai told Pilate that you have no power except what is given to you from heaven. Yeah. So the Lord set him up, man. So the Lord set this man up. He got him out of that dust, confused state when he was a caveman and had gave him dominion over the earth, the world. And look what he's doing to it. Look what he has done. Look how he's look how he has taken care of the Lord's earth. He's he's destroying it, man. He's polluting it. Not just literally, but also with wickedness, man. Alright, and this is why the Lord is showing these times because like you read in Matthew 24, if you don't, there will no flesh be able to save. Because this man is a madman. Alright? Everything is everything is, is, is slowly killing us, man. And when he comes with his wrath, all right, when he comes to this new world order, man, he, he got it all control, but man, if, 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 if the Lord allowed this man to uh, continue the way he was doing, we're all just fucking with that. Yeah, um, okay? So, like, you got Elon Musk said the most dumbest shit ever. He said we need to loot the North Pole. I'm going to try to move the moon. Yeah. Hey, the Lord probably has the North Pole. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 no, that's like supposed for a reason for us. Yeah. Like, you know how you want to preserve some food or something for the freezer? Oh! You know? Yeah. Oh. The Lord's preserving that land for us. Yeah. The Lord's preserving the earth for us, man. Ooh. Why? Because the earth was originally created for our sakes. It's just that when we broke the laws, that's just the commandments. The Lord allowed the other nations to have dominion for a certain period of time. Yeah. Why? Right? Because at the end, it says Esau's world is the end of the world. All right, Jacob, the of it that follows. Daniel 7 says the saints shall take the kingdom. That's right. And rule it forever, forever, forever. The reason why we rule forever 
gods because we'll be gods again. We're never going to go off. Uh, read that one time. Yeah, it's back in Daniel 2 and 21. It says, He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Right. It says, He revealeth the deep and secret things. Well, what's the secret? That America's going to be destroyed. Not many people know about it. Yeah, All mystery, right. Babylon, right? Right. Well, 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 people may ask, how do you know America's going to be destroyed? It's in the scriptures. All right? It's got, the law has to open up your mind to see it. All right? We can break it down to you 100%. But, but if it's not meant for you to see it, it's not meant for you to see it. All right? Because he revealed the secrets to those that have wisdom and understanding. That's why uh, the Lord the, the Lord had the angel told Ezra to, to give the, uh, to tell these secrets, these, these wisdom to those that can understand, those that have wisdom. Yeah. All right? The wise are the people. Right, the wise. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, that's why in the scriptures it's known as secrets and mysteries, man. Right? Because it's not revealed unto everyone like the brother saying. Right. Like the brother saying. All right? Yeah, it's plain. The destruction is, is, is described all throughout the world. Yeah, yeah. The New Testament and the Old Testament. Those who can see it, yeah. yeah. The Lord says it's determination to the gather these nations together to blow this place up. Yeah. That's right. So then it's going to happen. Yeah. Because whether you believe it or not. Right. Uh, Psalms 110 and verse 5. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Hey, say it. Read that again. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Who's sitting on the right hand of, of the Most High? Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh, he's going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to put down thrones and kings. All right? Which are these other nations. It, it is written in Revelation 6 that he's going to come back to conquer and conquer. Yep. In Revelation 19, it says he has, he has, on his head, he has many crowns because he's coming back to conquer these other nations. Judge and make war. Right. He, he judges and make war. All right. Read, read that again. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. And who's the ultimate king of the earth? So-called white man. Not just any white man. The elites. The elites. All right. The wicked elite. All right. 13 million families. All right. They're the king of the earth. They're the ones that say, say, and say, say what goes, man. Okay, and the Lord, and the Lord's coming back to take them down, man. That's why He's about to turn His fish, His men that are fishermen, into hunters. Who do you think, who do you think we're gonna hunt? But those, those wicked elites that are gonna hide themselves in the thick groves from the judgment of Yahweh, punishing Yahweh's shot. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, going back to a prior point, this is uh, Surah 36 and uh. I'm going to start at 6. It says, Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. So make the time short. The Lord is making the time short. All right. All right. You know, before we know it, we're going to be out of here, man. Yep. Hey, our you salvation, know? look up for our, sal our salvation is nearer than we believe. That's right. You know? Read that again. Yep. That, was, that was hard. It says, it says, make the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works. All right, remember the covenant that, that, that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. I'm going to be a seed forever. Okay, go ahead. Got a precept. This is uh, Psalm 90 and uh, 13. It says, return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Right. And what is the Lord's mercy? By sending his son to have a shot right. to come save us, man. That's right. right. Before that, I'm going to send Yahweh Shai to be that sacrifice. He bring us back to him, man. And ultimately, that Yahweh Shai, he's going to come save us, man. Yeah. That's right. what we hope for is his mercy. Right. Because if he don't come back, then what? Fuck. No flesh shall be saved, right. man. Shit like this is going on, oh, man. Go ahead, man. God, man. That's like the third penny that walked by, man. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if y'all folks know this. <laughs> this shit ridiculous, man. Yeah. What are we on? Hollywood Boulevard, man? Hey, like uh, this shit? what Abraham prayed for uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. He didn't pray for Sodom and Gomorrah. He prayed for the righteous. Yep. Especially his, uh, his uh, nephew Lot. Okay? He prayed for Lot, man. And, and he, he begged the Lord that like, there is 50 righteous men. They kept dropping down the number. 
the spare Sodom and Gomorrah, man. But the Lord, he only spared Lot and his, and his two daughters. All right? He even spared his wife, but his wife didn't listen. Lot's wife didn't listen. It was meant for her. Right, she looked back. All right? It shows that we can learn a lot. That's why Yahweh Shai said, Remember his lost wife, man. We don't want to look back. Because if you look back, you're not fit for the kingdom of the Most High, man. Right. All right? You have a few seconds? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, but, you know, I'm saying, you know, and notice that these trains are always Israelites, man. Second uh, Ezra chapter 3, verse 8. And everyone walked after their own will and did wonderful, wonderful things before the and despise that commandment. I mean, this is before the flood, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that again. And it says, And every people walk after their own will and did wonderful things before the and despise that commandment. The same thing is happening today. Look at everybody. Everyone's walking after their own will. They're pulling their own lusts and desires, man, which is their own lusts and desires are an abomination to the, to the most high, man. Yeah. Okay? And this is why back then he brought he brought in the flood. Okay? Because no one was willing to serve him. Right. But who? Yeah. Noah. He brought a flood, clean all that shit up, man. Yeah, yeah. Clean <laughs> all that filth up. And he would bring the fire to do the same. Yeah, yeah. It's fire and water, they're both cleansing agents, right. man. Right. And, right. It, and again, in the process of time, thou brought us the flood upon those that dwelt in the world and destroy them. Right. Destroy them. Get our uh, Genesis the sixth chapter. Sorry, like five. So the Lord has seen this type of uh, altar spirit before. You know, what did the Lord do? He flooded the earth and saved said eight souls. Right. Which because the finding who are the eight souls? Name them all. Who? What? Name, them, <laughs> the, the, name all the eight souls, eight souls that were saved during for the flood. They're saved from the flood. Oh, him, okay. Jim, okay. Uh, <laughs> Jeffy. Uh -huh. All right, go uh, ahead. Good. I don't know his wives. Yeah. <laughs> and how many wives? <laughs> well, he swear I had another wife. Uh, Noah had a wife. Uh. uh they all had four men for a woman. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Hey, hey, so, and Peter, Peter said, <laughs> and Peter said, Noah, damn, <laughs> Noah the eighth. And Peter said, he said, Noah the eighth person. That's supposed to be like ABC, bro. Come on, now. I got a piece up. All right, come on. Quick, let's finish uh, that. Oh, no, 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 no. Real quick, you know. It's uh, Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end are up are the ways of death. People's lives, how they live, they think this is they yeah. think it's right. They think they're doing good. You know, I gotta go to church every Sunday where I can do my bullshit because they don't want to learn Right. But the end the end of you works the end of how you bring your life is gonna bring forth death, man. Yeah. Because you're not keeping the law to the best of your ability, still eating pork, still committing adultery, still having idols in your house. Yeah, you do whatever you want, you go yeah. after your, your heart. Whatever your heart desires, man. That don't make it right. Right. You know? Hey, like it says, an evil, a wicked man find an excuse for his will. Yeah. And the scripture says that the heart is desperately wicked. Who should know it? All right. You know? We just find any excuse. You look for any scripture to smoke weed and shit. You look any any scripture to fulfill your lust, man. Yeah. See, the scripture says I can do this. See? You said you gave us the herbs for land. <laughs> <laughs> More like the uh, yeah. herbs for meat. Yeah. yeah. Niggas, it's crazy. That's, that's your environment, John. Uh, Jake, man, they're wise for me. Good. They, they know nothing else. They have no knowledge. Hey, Jacob, the master of wickedness. Yeah. All right. And he learned from his father, the devil. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, says, Yahweh Shai said that he called the wicked scars the Pharisees, the lust of, he called them devils, man, because they were living after their father's devil, man, which was Esau. Right. The scripture say, uh, the righteous is more excellent than the favorite, but the ways of the wicked seduce them. That's right. And we see that. Look at our people today, man. Like you just said earlier, majority of trainees are what? Jakes, man. Uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. They're like flamboyant, man. Hey, the yeah, new yeah. saying is black is the new gay. Oh, uh, yeah. what the fuck? Real quick, Amos 5 and 18. What was you that desired the day of the Lord? To what end is it for you that the day of the Lord is darkness and not light? That lack of understanding, actually, of the Lord, they right. desire that day. 
they don't understand it. They're going to be disposed. They're not following the right path, right? Nope. Worshiping a white image. No, that's real. Red yeah. image. Yeah, that's real. Like the brother saying, man, there's a bunch of Christians that think they're just going to get beamed up. You, you know, uh, yeah, get no raptured. Trial. Yeah, no trial no whatsoever. Tri yeah, no trial whatsoever. Look, this right here is a fucking training, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. The Lord said he, in 2 Timothy 4, 1, he's coming to judge the quick, which is us, the ones that have the truth, and the dead, which are, are you, that don't have the truth, man. Yeah. Everyone's going to get judged according to their works, how you've been living your life. You're going to get judged in this life. It's not where you're going to die, or you're going to get beat up, you're going to be judged. Yeah. All right? That's in Corinthians, that, that wood, hay, and stone, that, and the precious stones out there. So everybody is going to get judged. Right, right. They're, they're going to get, you know, what they deserve. At the end of the day. Get that Genesis 6? Yeah. Were you done? Yeah. Genesis yeah. 5. So Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. It says, And the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. All right. And just back then, this was during the flood. Before the flood happened. Saw that wickedness was very great, and, like, and the same thing here today, but it's like 2.0, okay? Because everyone's to, is out here to fulfill their own desires, man. Everyone thinks about them. Everyone has that selfish, me, me, me spirit, man. It's all about me. Or uh, they want look at me. Look, look what I look what I'm doing. Like the scripture says, man shall become love of themselves, proud, boasters. All right, love uh, 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 abuses of, of mankind. All right. So, so, this is what we see in the world today. But you got the righteous that are constantly signed and crying for all the wicked, abomin abominable acts that's been done in this place, man. Because we're, we are not, we're denying ourselves, like Yahweh I said. If you can't, if you can't uh, deny yourself, you're not worthy of me. All right? I think that's how it goes. All right? We must deny ourselves, deny our, our, our lust, deny what we want to do. It's not about us. Anyone that follow after me must deny himself. Right. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fall out of the world be how flesh me out of shot. Cause at the end of the day, we know it's gonna be worth it, man. This is how, it's part of working out our own salvation. It says, I'll oh, read that verse five. Yeah, verse five again. It says, and the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that He made man on earth. And they grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping beast, and the fowls of the air, for a repentant meat that I have made them. Hey, and it goes to show when the Lord moves every, every a lot of things, a lot of people die. Yeah. And not just people, but animals, trees. That's why, uh, who was it? Uh, I think it was uh, yeah, Habakkuk. Are thou mad with the trees or the rivers? The rivers. All right. Because when the, when the Lord destroys this place, the rivers will get dried up. Like it says in you know, Isaiah the 34th chapter, yeah. that 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 the streams will turn into pitch and plain. All right. Animals here in America are gonna die when it's supposed to sit, man. Yeah, the streams are gonna walk no more. Right. Yeah. And the fishes, the fishes are gonna die. The trees are gonna, man. Which is okay, bro. Right. That's the Lord's call. He created it. Yeah. He gonna do what he wants. Like it's certain parts of America that's beautiful, man. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Lord's still gonna destroy this motherfucker. Like Oregon. Like, yeah, he, like he can't. He can't. Uh, uh, like he don't have other beautiful places on the earth, man. Yeah. Uh, this place was created to be destroyed. Hey, like a uh, prey. You seen that movie? Prey. <laughs> nah. Movie. But it's posted on. Uh, that, I saw that. Last night. That shit. Don't hard. say nothing. Don't say that nothing. That was so fucking hard, hard, bro. Right, brother. Don't I say was, nothing. I was. Ooh, but I anyway. Was, Right. The scenery, uh, not, the reason I bring that scenery in that movie was fucking beautiful, man. It was the same, like, wow. That's how that was the, the Grand Canyon is beautiful, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I, you've been there, right? No. Oh, okay, I thought you've been there. You can see the Colorado River, man. Oh, my God. See, I don't think you can see that right now. It looks like a drought. Oh, yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. But it looks like, uh, like, like, you're watching, like you're looking at a painting or something. Like, it's not real. Yeah. Like, wow, it's so beautiful. And uh, yeah. that goes back to the flood as well, man. How everything yep. moved, man. Yep. You know, hey, man, the entire world map, you know, changed after that. Yeah. Which was the Lord's will. Yeah, which was the Lord's will. Yeah. And the whole earth was paradise. Yeah. Eden. Yeah. All Eden. 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 Yeah. Like done. Like done. All right, everything, like like today, like you see, like you go, like you go on one-on-one world, you see, you see the mountains, everything is dead. Like all brown and shit. 
It wasn't like that, man. Everything was green, full of flowers, full of different colors, man. Trees, man. Everything was beautiful. Uh, animals everywhere. Right. And the animals were at peace with you, man. It's not like you go in the forest and shit. You kind of, kind of nervous. Damn, I don't know if a bear or. Well, they're on defense, man. Yeah. All the shit you saw, they, they, they shit. They on defense mode. Yeah, yeah it's great. They, they get hunted for sport. At some countries, they even eat bears. Bro. Remember, you remember that, that buffalo yeah. skeletons? That big ass stack of buffalo skeletons each on hand? Yeah. Yeah, eat them right on top of it. They show you that in the revenue, man. Yeah. We well, just walked upon all that. All the, uh, They put that in the movie for a reason, man. You know? That's what Esau was doing. Just so our people couldn't eat. Yeah. Yeah, we supposed to forget that. We supposed to forget about that, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, Esau slaughtered all these elephants for the tusks. Kill the ivory. And the elephant is a beautiful He's creature, man. bro. Yeah. Like, wow, man. Yeah. They're real, they're real humble, too, man. Yeah. You know, real, real humble, real playful. I mean, they're aggressive. But that, that's because the devil is always shooting them down and shit, man. But then circuses for their entertainment. Put them in zoos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that one video on YouTube, I've seen this one, I forgot his name. It was an elephant in a circle, in a circus, and he escaped and he, he let loose, man. He started attacking everybody, he started fucking shit up. Stores, he was tired, man. He's dumping everything out. Yeah, he was vexed, man. He, was, he, he, just got, he just got shot up by the cops, man. That was his mercy. Yeah. The Lord took him out, man. I was going to say, yeah, Esau's wicked, man. If you, you hear about over there in Australia, man, they eat anything that moves. You know, whether it be kangaroos, you know, whatever wildlife is out there, man, they'll eat yeah, it. Yeah, it's supposed to be, you know, damn kangaroo, man. Yeah. yeah. But that's what happens when the wicked are them. Right, can I get the scripture? Yeah. This is uh, 2 Edges 5 and 1 and 2. It says, Nevertheless, as concerning tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that that has heard long ago. And, hey, we're in that we're in that time right now, man. With a way way of truth is hidden. Mm -hmm. to, to, no, 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 no more. Yeah. The way of truth is yeah, it being declared yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. To, but it's hidden to the masses. Oh right? yeah, 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 You know, yeah. hidden, hidden to the hidden to the hidden to the right. masses. And faith is uh, becoming barren because you have a lot of people losing faith. That's why you have what Shai said that when he comes, Shai found faith on earth. The only ones that's gonna be found faith are the elect, the ones that have been. Given the truth, man. Right. Okay. okay. But 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 the point is, iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. So what the, the wickedness that we're seeing has never been seen before, man. Yeah. This shit is insane, man. You know, if somebody was to come from four thousand years ago in this in this world now, and they pulling out their beard, they pulling out their hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all, all the, all the yeah. prophets that saw, they they got sick. All right, John, he saw uh, yeah. these are the people. Like, yeah, Ezra, yeah. like, what the hell? Are you, what is what is this? Dude, what they wearing? What they? But Ezekiel saw it dead. These motherfuckers are dead. But they were actually, they were actually. Uh, he saw a valley, which represent America. A vision. Yeah. yeah. But but, but uh, he saw actually dead bones, which represent our people. He seen uh, uh was that Ezekiel eight? He seen what Jacob secretly doing? Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, worshiping uh, Tom Moves and all of that shit, man. Yeah. You know, Jake is worshiping that now, but it's, it's under another name. You know? Yeah, that's right. Queen of Heaven's Spirit is heavy out here, man. I got another piece of art. Go ahead. It's uh, Proverbs uh, 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. All right, and, and, and if we continue to endure, we're going to see the fall of our enemies. Right. We're gonna see the fall of this world in which we all long for. We want to see the destruction, man. But we're from above. We want to experience it. Man. We want to see it. Yeah. Everyone's going. Everyone's going to see the destruction. We're either gonna witness it from above or experience it and from below. We're gonna be a part of it, <laughs> which is fucking scary, man. Who wants to? Who wants to? Who wants to come back? You know, Jacob will come back. But who wants? That don't, we don't want that to be our story, man. Yeah, I, I was destroyed in, in, with Luke, uh, with, with uh, uh, Babylon the Great. Nah, man. I want to. We want to watch Babylon the Great uh, 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 be destroyed, man. From the heavens, man. You know. I got another one. Brothers ain't got one. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I judge in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. 
a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Right. The liveth to see the fall of his enemy. What did Yahweh Shai say? That some of you should not taste death. And even those that do taste death, they're going to be raised up back again, and they're going to see the fall of their enemy, Esau. Yeah, that's so right go wait, man, man. Regardless if you live or die, if you're already left, you're going to be raised up again, man. That's right. Okay, and you're going to see the downfall of this place. You're going to see the destruction of this place from above. Yeah, even before the, the actual imp uh, uh, imploding of the nukes, we're seeing this man fall now. Right. We're seeing the American dream is dying. Okay, the, the, the dollar is falling. All right, so we're seeing it. I got another one, brother, then got one. Uh, yeah, you can bring it up. This is uh, Psalms 58 and uh, 10. It's a lot. It says, the righteous, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Ooh, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. When we see the Lord of vengeance of all that, our adversary. That's Esau. right. We're gonna rejoice. We're gonna praise you, how bless me, how shall with fear and trembling. Because we're gonna fear, like the scooter says. We're gonna fear when we see this uh, place destroyed, man. What's that, uh, the remnant where I fight it? Yeah. Fine. Go ahead. It's Isaiah 42 and 13. For shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, war. He shall prevail, prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still. Right, a long time holding his peace. Woo. And people thought that just because judgment wasn't brought or executed speedily, mm -hmm. they, they set their minds to do evil. Yeah. Because the Lord has holding his peace. He's been sitting back and watching this watching how you people live your life. Now that's extremely wicked, bro. All right. To be wicked because you can be wicked? I heard that's a good movie too. Black I see that? But yeah, these people, since they're not being judged for the wickedness, they're like, oh, okay. So now I'm really gonna be wicked. You know, that's 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 wickedness, man. If those sinners be a hundred, a hundred, uh, uh, do uh, those sinners do evil a hundred times, yeah. uh, um, to it, not go unpunished. Right, but uh, you know, bring it up. Yeah, get that. That's it. That's the rock, No, no, he's the actual eight. Eleven. There's another one that's a lot like that, though. Yeah, see, I can I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrain myself. And now will I cry like a, a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. And who is he going to destroy? Who is our Lord? How will Shai come back to destroy Esau? And not just Esau, but the two thirds as well, man. And all those that come up against him. All you anti anti messiahs, man. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come and devour at once, man. All right, that's yeah, the war yeah. that's coming. It's for you. That yeah. fire is coming for, it's for, it's for you. The wicked, it's the wicked, man. Whether you're an Israelite or not, you got wicked Israelites out there, man. Get those, those that, those that want to guess the Lord Yahweh Shai. Guess what? They're wicked, man. All right, and the Lord's going back to have vengeance, man. All right, what did the, what did the uh, King David prophesy? Uh, he, uh, sit down my right hand. So I'll make all my enemies my footstool, man. King David wrote that in the song. Okay. Yeah, and, and the Lord, he's on our Lord Yahweh Shai, he's on the right hand of Yahweh, waiting to have right. all his enemies under his footstool, man. It's coming, man. It's coming. I thought it was Ecclesiastes, boy. It's uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the Son of Men is fully set in them to do evil. Right. Right, you see that, man. Back then, the ancient world judgment was brought upon you just like that. It was a quick judgment. Yeah. And if it wasn't, you'd be you'd be looking over your shoulder for every every day. All right, because judgment was quick. All right, if you did wickedness, judgment was right there at the door, man. Okay, Jud judgment is going out. They just people don't know. They don't call it judgment. Right, they don't see that. They yeah, feel sorry for the motherfucker. Like yeah. the uh, the accident uh, and. Uh, the Bray and Slauson, with that car I went through, and you know, six people dead, whatever it is. That was judgment. People yeah. are mourning over it, you know. And what does it say, man? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? There you go. So no one perished to be innocent. Man. Man. So that's all the Lord that sanctioned you. That's right. And you, hey, that crazy, that lady who didn't even die. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah, that's because the Lord, the Lord kept her alive, and he killed those other people. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But he, he also, hey, that's also a punishment for murder. 
to do that and then now she got to be in jail, oh, yeah. she's going to be hated for the rest of her life. Yep. Yeah. You know? It says but the law has many ways to bring judgment. That's why you got to pray, man. You got to pray when you get in the whip. Yeah. You know, pray the Lord to get you to your destination safe. Get home safely. Pray over your, your woman, your children. All of that, man. Because these motherfuckers out here can't drive, man. Woo! Yeah. Ah, man. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see Santa Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, I used to be out there every day, bro, doing, uh, you know, little packaging thing. But LA, ain't nothing like L.A. though, bro. Nah. I hate going to L.A., bro. Yeah, me too. Downtown. Oh, yeah, man. That shit. Yeah. They're so aggressive out there, bro. Yeah, or, or over there, Panorama City. Right. Anything okay. across the 4-5, bro. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Right. East side. <laughs> it's like, what fuck is there, like, challenging each other and shit? Like, yeah. like who could be the most aggressive on the road? Like, you drive fast. Like, I'm just cruising. Just yeah. chill, yeah. I'm gonna cruise against another motherfucker. motherfucker then you wreck the chomp, trying to race. Yeah, you. man. These anyway. motherfuckers got demons. Yeah, I don't care in their life, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, verse 12, no a sinner do evil a hundred times. So you see, our people that constantly do evil, constantly commit adultery, constantly commit uh, uh, any type of fornication, man. Yeah, uh, worshiping you your you idols. Know. All right. Yeah. Uh, also, Jake is getting so wicked that they're lying with animals, lying with their uh, their, their, their girlfriend's mothers, yeah. or having three oh, sons with their uh, girlfriend and their mother at the same time. That's all that shit. Yeah. All, all that wickedness. All that's right. a, that's yeah. in our law. Right. Yeah. That's in our law. Yeah, you're not supposed to deal with the mother and the daughter. Nope. What kind of shit is that? You're seeing fathers sleeping with their sons' girlfriends, or uh, their sons uh, sleeping with their, uh, their father's uh, uh, girl. All sorts of shit, man. You don't, you don't, look, if you just stay on the internet, you, you, you'll find all sorts of shit. Like, you right. find one abomination, and you'll be like, man, I don't think anything is past this. And the next thing you you see another oh shit oh, it's bro, worse than that. Bro was posting some shit when some dude was talking about sucking his own rod. Yeah, that shit oh, was. Oh, yeah. busting his mouth like what the fuck? <laughs> that man? shit was very vile. He called it called it self got three thousand. And you can say you can see the way he's explaining it that he he has, he didn't just do it once. Like what the fuck, man? He that shit every night. This shit is right, insane. Right. I never thought nobody was thinking of shit like that. This is man. Babylon, and it gotta be a Jake. Like you quoted earlier, like the scripture says, the wicked, where the wicked seduces them, man. Okay? Ah, go ahead. It says, though a sinner do evil 100 times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that I shall be well with them that fear the Lord, which fear before him. Yeah, like, right, like huh? King David said, he, he, uh, don't envy the, the prosperity of the wicked. Because uh, you see be, Jake, and you see them doing good, and, and they're all partaking all sorts of wicked. They drive the nice cars, they have all the hoes, they got the got they got it all. Yeah. Alright? It, it it seems like everything's well with them, right? But they but, got good health. Right, they have good health, they're not catching hell. But read that again. Yeah. The last the, the, the last verse. Oh, okay, when it talks about the wicked. Yeah. Okay. It says, but it shall not be well with no, them. No, no. Read the whole verse. Oh, okay. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know. That it shall be well with them that fear the Lord, which fear before Him. Right. But go, on, go ahead. But it shall not be well with the wicked; neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Lord. When you go to Sirach twelve and six. The scripture says the Lord hates sinners. All right, keep it them to the mighty day of the punishment. So just because they didn't get punished right there and then, doesn't mean that they're not going to get punished. The day is coming where they're about to be punished. All right. When all hell breaks loose, man, the whole world, the whole world, the whole world, the whole world is about to come crashing down. You trying to get away with something, and you think we got away with something in this world. Then he saw come, you know, five years later, get your ass. Two years later, get your ass. Yeah. Like, you know, he's watching you, he's watching you, he's building a case. You know, they're scoping you like they used to do the mafia, man. The yeah. mobsters. You know, they don't have to get you on, on that, they'll, they'll, they'll let you build it up. So the Lord is allowing you people to build up your wickedness, man. I got one. Oh, you got it? So 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and all that will look godly in the house of God shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And hey, why, why is the righteous, the godly, going to suffer persecution? Because they're not of this world. All right? Just like our Lord, our master, Yahweh Shai, he's not of this world. If they hated him and persecuted him, 
they're gonna do the, they're gonna do the same to a service, man. All right. That's what Chris said. They think it's strange that you walk out with them. All right. And then go to the court, speak in Hebrew or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right to the court. I got Chris up. It's uh, Sirach 16 and 11. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and pour, mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges a man according to his works. And I wouldn't tempt the Most High on that, man. No. You know, because our people, they, 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 they know the Most High is merciful. That doesn't mean that you can go on and do what you want, and you, right. all you gotta do is just ask for forgiveness. And he sees that, and, and he forgives you. No, it don't work like that. All right, the Lord knoweth your heart. Why do you think he didn't accept? He, he, he counted all Israel's sacrifices as, as, as them sacrificing a dog. All right, he didn't accept the sacrifices because the sins that they were doing were premeditated. And then they're all right. Wasn't right. Right, and it's all about your heart, all about your mind. Jake think that they can just go on about their bullshit, do on what they want, and then, then they want to come to the Lord. They want to uh, choose the Lord when they want to. They want to come to the Lord when they want to come. Or uh, when, when, you know, when all, when all the fun, all, all the excitement in life is over, that's when they want to serve the Lord, man. But the Lord requires you to serve Him and when you're at, at, his, at your youth and in the sincerity and truth, like it says, uh, uh, thou, thou shalt come to me, uh, uh, serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth. And yeah, it's good to say, remember, remember the Lord and our youth. Remember now that greater than you before the evil days. Alright. You know? Go ahead. So, the book of second yeah. this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 61. It says he made man into a heart in the midst of his body. Right. What's the word heart? The Hebrew word is love, which goes into your mind. Yeah. Alright. There's no hiding in the word. It says give us all the conscience. Yeah. It says, and gave him breath. Life and understanding, yea, and the spirit of the Almighty. Right, the understanding of what? His ways. All right, that understanding his righteousness, understanding the laws that he has given, or and the reason for them. Yeah. Okay, that all, all the laws that he has for his people, are all for a reason, all for a purpose. This, his ways of life. Okay. It says, yea, and the spirit of the Almighty Lord, which made all things. And searches out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. See, he searches out all, all hidden things, even your sins. Even the sins you think that you're doing in secret, and no one knows that you're doing it. But guess what? The Lord's eyes are everywhere. You're holding the good and the evil. You're always being watched, man. Whether you know it or not, you're being watched. The Lord is watching everything. No thought escapes you. Go ahead. Surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your hearts. Even them that sin and would hide their sin. Right. It says, therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. Yeah, and, you, and people don't think that. They don't think the Lord is going to search out all your works. Yeah. Even the sins in your past life. If you don't repent now, the Lord is going to charge you for the sins that you did in your past life, man. All right? Your past, your past life sins don't go, don't go un, uh, unnoticed. Everything is, 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 the Lord notices, and notices and sees everything. It says, uh, you could have got you in your past life, you could have went out and on a whole, you know, all type of wicked ways. And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men. And when, and when is the Lord going to bring forth your sins in the day of judgment? Get up. The Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Right, so at, at the Lord's appearing, all your works, all your all these people's sins will be manifested, will be judged. Okay? And it says, read that last part again, seven edges, right? This is the quick, or who are, who are the quick? Those that know the, the truth, those that know who they are. All right, because when you know the truth, you don't just sit back and hide your talent in your napkin. You go out and teach. You go out and 
repent because you know you're on the grace to get yourself right. All right, and the devil, which are, 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 are the other people that don't know the truth, man. The Lord's gonna judge. The Lord's gonna judge you for your works. Like right, okay. said, the Lord quicken us, right? Quicken means to be made alive, right? You know? And how we made alive through this truth, through this, through, this, through this word. All right, go ahead. Back in Second Ezra 16 and six. The last part. You oh, the last part. 65. Yeah. It says, "Uh, and when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men." See, when your sins are brought forth, you're gonna be ashamed. When you jakes, uh, when you jakes, when you finally realize what you've done right before that muscle's come, you're gonna be ashamed. Even before. Yeah, like before. it says in um second Ezra, the second chapter, the twenty-fifth verse, Isaiah the sixty-five chapter, I uh, says they're gonna be ashamed. Alright, they're gonna be ashamed of the works. Because when all hell breaks loose, and you got no phone to distract you with yourself, you got no entertainment, you just there with yourself, the conscious is gonna eat your ass up alive, man. Alright, that 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 sins. Right. That 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 day you realize that a prophet out there know you, that the men that you constantly scoffed and laughed at were actually right, you're gonna be you're gonna be you're eating yourself, man. Eat your conscience gonna keep you to lie. Bring up your sin. Bring up all the shit that you did, man. Yeah. Even if you may forget, you know, what you did. You know, even if you forget how you scoffed at the prophets, you may never see us again. You have people that uh scoff and talk shit. And they never see us again. They forget. But guess what? They're going to be reminded when the judgment comes, man. Alright? Okay. You're going to be in a pitiful case, man, if you take this thing right here, man. This good advice. Alright? So that's going to that's gonna grab a lot of people. They're going to be condemned in their own minds because they took that shit. You know, and they see that this devil, you know, is not for them. Right. Alright? It says, And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. That's right. It's just like when you're uh, when someone's getting judged, right? You always have witnesses. So you did this, but guess who the cool your people witnesses? The angels. They're gonna like you remember you did this, you did that, you did that, your sins are gonna accuse uh, your sins are gonna uh, 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 accuse you in that day. Go ahead. It says sixty six. What will you do or how will you hide your sins before the Lord and his angels? Right. You can't hide you can't hide it from the Lord and his angels, man. Nope. Okay, even a thought, you may pass by a camp and you scoff in your mind, but guess what? Even if you don't hear it, guess who's hearing it? Oh, guess who knows your mind, what you're saying in your mind? The Lord, the angels. So, okay, that's what you think? Like last time, remember uh, that, that Edomite bitch that uh, yeah. Right? Uh, you probably said some shit in her mind. Yeah. The angels didn't like that. Got her ass tripped up, man. I got three steps off. Go ahead. So about 17 and 15. Their ways are ever before him, and shall not be hid from his eyes. Right, his their ways. Let's talk about the, the nation of Israel. Right. What are what are the eyes? It, uh, the angels. Yep. All right. The angels are everywhere. Mainly watching his people. Why right? you think you see them all around the earth? Because his people are scattered all around. All right. Second, Second Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9 For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth Right, eyes of the Lord again are the angels And they run to and fro from through the whole earth That's why you're seeing all these you were foes so You're seeing, seeing so many, Esau can't deny them anymore, man They just gotta come out with what they are The angels see everything you know? And they go back to report to Yahweh Yeah Oh, that's why it's important to have the humble spirit, man. To really be ashamed of your sin. You all sin, you know? And that's why you gotta repent and come back to the Lord. This is uh, Isaiah 57 15. But let's say if you look the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity, his name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. Uh, to revive the spirit of the humble, to revive the heart of the contrite. In the spirit, you really have to have, you know, the state of what you've done, you know, to really be uh, humble and truthful about how you feel, you know. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. You have to really feel sorry about what you've done and going off. It's been all gone off, man. That's what it means to be contrite. You know, because down here is perfect. We're just trying to do the best we can, you know, down here. Only the elect will have a humble and contrite spirit. The rest of the world, they, they're relished in their wickedness. Like a woman will confess her, her 
wicked sins of uh, having multiple partners at once. And be proud of it, yeah. And be proud of it. People are proud of their sins in this world, while the elect, they're sorrowful for the things that they did do, you know? Yeah, that's a good point, brother. But and they are going to be ashamed, yeah. regardless. They're going to feel that shame. We're feeling the shame right now. Yeah. They're going to feel it, man, but it's going to be much worse because they're not going to be saved. Our sorrow, that what we, because the sorrow, what you do, you don't just feel bad. You, you, you try to make it right with the Most High yeah. by doing what is pleasing unto Him, by keeping the laws, statutes, commandments, by going out in the highways, the byways, all right, by showing true charity, showing true love to, to the Lord's servants. Okay, you try to, you try to make, you try to make it right with the Lord, man. You don't just continue on with your sins, right. continue on doing, being part of this world. You know that the Lord hates this world and he wants you to forsake this world. You don't you don't fall in that steps, man. Okay? The scripture says, kiss the sun that's to be angry. Right. And you don't want the Lord angry with you, man, because it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. Alright? Uh yeah. So back in 2nd Ezra 16 and uh RE 66 again. It says, What will you do? Or how will you hide your sins before the Lord and his angels? Behold, the Lord himself is the judge. Fear him. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. Right, because if you get to rock the seventh chapter, uh, it says uh, the last verse, uh, it says obey. You see, uh, when you fear, you obey. Yeah. It's uh, Sirach 2 and 16. Uh, and 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall, shall be filled with his law. Right. They that seek the Lord will do that as which is well pleasing unto him. And what is one of the things that is pleasing unto the Lord? Doing his work, feeding his sheep, man. Why do you think one time I remember you had a, which, you know, I believe it was an angel, but it was a, it was a man that came up. It was long ago when, with the, when the apostles were out on GMS 34th, or, or on 34th and 7th in New York. And um, this man said, he was a Jake, he's like, the Lord is very pleased with, you, with, you, with your work. All right, he's very pleased, okay? Why? Because they're out on the highways every day. They're out on the highways every day, constantly, yeah. in season, out of season. All right, showing, 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 showing faith. That you really believe. Yeah, believe. All right. So another man has something though. That's right. All right, and we, 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 we're learning how to fear and to walk in sincerity of truth to the Lord, man. Because we don't want to be judged when our Lord makes His move. Okay, we don't we don't want we don't want to be destroyed out here, man. Yeah, man, we want we want to be comforted in that in that hour. Yeah. You know, because if the Lord if the Lord don't strengthen you and and help you and, and and make ways for you to be delivered, you're gonna be through. The Lord don't provide for you like food and water yeah. in that hour. You through, man. You can't save yourself. Yeah, man. No matter how mighty you think you are, no matter how prepared you think you are, you, you're not that ready. That shit is in vain, come. man. Yeah. The really, yeah. the only way to get ready is in your mind with the Lord. Yeah. Spiritual build, preparation. Build that connection with the Lord because He's all. That, he's all. That, he's all we got in that day, That's man. It. Yeah, Even if you have, unless you have, if you have children, how are you gonna take care of those children? The scripture says that you're gonna have women that are gonna sodish my their own children, man. Yeah, well, that's gonna be uh, uh, no, sodish. Sodish. Yeah. Their own children. Sodish. Sodish means stupid. No, 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 no. Just say cook or something. Yeah, yeah. boy, uh, their own children. <laughs> Lamentation before chapter. All right. Yeah, sodish children. Yeah. I got something to do. Go ahead. Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good and a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knew of them that trust in him. Right. And like like the scripture says, I've been young, been old, not have I haven't seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. Right. So this is what we got, this is what comforts us, man. This is what gives us hope, man. Knowing that even even though all these evils is to come, we hope for the Lord's mercy. Because what it happened to say, wrath, remember mercy. Okay? And, and the Lord's gonna show mercy to his elect. Those that repent, those that are seeking for his mercy. He does the scripture, uh, seek. Yes, yeah, 7, 9, 2, and 3. Right. Righteousness, seek 
you see weakness, they need to hit with this one finger. Still going to that out. Got to let that And Jeremiah said, um, thou art my help in the day of, uh, and thou art my help in the day of, thou art my hope in the day of uh, terror. Right, that's good, that's good. That's good. We said, God of my hope in the day of terror. And guess what? The day of terror is coming. Right. Okay? The day of terror is coming, man. And it's worse than we could describe it, man. Yeah, we can't really describe how it's going to be, how bad it's going to be. Because Daniel said, and Jeremiah said, that time is coming like never before. We can't compare it to, 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 to 70 AD slavery. We can't compare it to Jake getting gunned down by these cops. We can't, we can't compare it to all the captivities been in man you can't compare it man uh, yeah, yeah. When, it, when it plays out on earth it's gonna be way worse yeah. you got anybody got to say yeah go back to that so back in second Ezra 16 and we were at six uh 16 and we were at uh 67 Behold, the Lord Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. Right. To meddle no more with them forever. That's why when you continue reading, it says, Let not your sins weigh you down. Yeah. Okay, you got to know that you can't let your sins weigh you down nor your iniquities lift up themselves. Man. Yeah, that's why the Lord gave us examples. You guys can walk through, man. You can walk through. Sure. Sure. Sorry, walk, man. Come on now. I'll go around, bro. Just that's why the Lord gave us examples of men, you know, uh, uh, being shown mercy, like uh, King David, like Paul, you know? Yeah. yeah. Hey, the mercies of David, which will be yeah. shown to the house of David. All those men, the elect men, which consist of all the tribes of Judah down in Ishikar, are right, part, uh, part of the house of David will receive the mercies of David. That's right. So no matter the wickedness you've done, even if it's uh, counted on to death, if the Lord feels the elect, you're going to receive mercy. And right. that doesn't mean that, okay, really, you see mercy, let me just do what I want. No, no. Use the grace that I've been uh, given to, uh, to to sin. I mean, use the grace that I've been given to fall out the righteousness and get my house, which myself, and in order, man. Get ourselves in order. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But that's real. Uh, the scriptures speak about not letting your sins weigh you down. Even though our righteousness is that filthy rags, man, you got to have that faith and belief that the Lord, you know, he, he's a forgiving power, man. Yeah. you, you got to realize that both mercy. He can forgive for your iniquities. One thing will happen is your conscience, which what works in your mind, sin, right? Yeah. You try to accuse you of your sins. Always bringing up your past. Always bringing up, you remember you did this, you did that, you did all this. How can the Lord forgive you? Scriptures is what we use as a sword to combat that. Yeah. Okay? Because what the scripture says, he is mercy, wrath and mercy come from them. Yeah, he, 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 he showed mercy to when he wants to show mercy. Yeah. We gotta have that hope that he shows mercy for us, for our sins, and he's forgiven us, man. Alright? But what we also said, uh, let not your sins weigh you down. We can't let what we did in the past weigh us down. We gotta put something on. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon us. Yeah, remember this. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. And in, in, in Isaiah, he said that, uh, always bring up his works. Always uh, bring him to remembrance. All right? So, Lord, Lord, forgive me. Have mercy upon me. I silly believe. Have mercy upon me. He said, if I forsake my ways and my righteous thoughts, you have mercy upon me, man. Yeah. You know, you got the Lord. He's, he's good with, it, with his word. You gotta be good with yours. Exactly. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta forsake the wicked ways. If you forsake the wicked ways, the Lord's gonna have mercy upon you, man. If you don't meddle no more in your iniquities, the Lord's gonna have mercy upon you. You just gotta continue to fight the good fight of faith. You can't let the Satan enter into your mind and, and, and fuck with you. It will happen. It will happen. Okay. He's going that line on the barrier. Yeah. No, but the scriptures say what? Uh, 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 quench the fiery darts of the wicked, which you should have faith, man. Yeah, huh? yeah. I got a precept though. Yeah. You mentioned uh, not letting your sins weigh you down. You know, having faith, having confidence. So Hebrews 4, 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, 
that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So you gotta have boldness and righteousness, you know? The righteous is bold and blind, you know? You gotta be confident in the spirit. But that yeah. confidence is gonna come from you doing what you gotta do. Yeah. If you ain't doing what you gotta do, then you ain't really gonna be confident, man. Yeah. Right. You know? Um, that dude, Michael Jordan, he explained, he explained that, you know, he put forth the effort, you know? Uh, outside the court, you know? Everything, you know, his practice, workouts, all of that. So when it came time to play, he was confident in his abilities, you know? So you gotta put in the work, man. The scripture said, give diligence to make that calling and election sure. Then you're gonna be confident, man. You're gonna know the Lord with you. Yep. Is that it? Uh, yeah. so? That's why dudes get weak in the spirit. Yeah. You stop, you stop doing, you stop reading, studying, tuning into lessons and all of that. You stop hitting up. Now, now dudes start to find uh, ways not to come up to camp. Find excuses. Oh, I'm doing this on Saturday. I'm doing that. That yeah, because you're losing the spirit, man. You know. Second Ezra chapter fourteen and thirteen. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and refute, refute thy people. Comfort such of them that be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. It says set your house in order. I don't got a house. I don't got a family. No. That house starts with you, with yourself, with your mind right. So I, all right, if you have a wife and you have children, all right, if she's willing to be on you, will you please go to get her right, man. Oh, get her mind right, get your children mind, tell them the truth, you know, teach them who they are. That's why what Yahweh always shy, say, I, I don't suffer these little ones to come to the kingdom, man. I think that's how it goes. You know, right, but so that, suffer, suffer little ones. Suffer, suffer little ones. But that house starts to shoot, man. We gotta get ourselves in order. Even if we fall, we get, get back, back up. up man. We don't let our sins weigh us down. We don't we don't let that destroy us, man. It's good to say, constantly endure. All right. You what? gotta endure embarrassment at times. Sometimes you're gonna be embarrassed. You know? You gotta endure a, a correction. All of it. And it's good to say, I'll show you young man by taking heed to y'all by Taking heed to that word. Oh, yeah. That's part of uh, getting your house in order. Uh, you feel something is wrong, you feel like you need to be wicked if you take me to the word. Hey, what's good? What verse are you at? Second Ezra 16. Uh, second Ezra 16. And, uh, Right. Uh, faith and meekness are his delight. 
Without faith, there's no, uh, without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord, man. So that's the main, that's the main pleaser of the Lord, faith, believing. You know? Well, and also the fear of the Lord, too. In the fear. Yeah, the fear of the Lord. Yeah. Who's, yeah. who's going into another night, man? Faith and fear are a package, man. You can't have one without the other, man. You ain't gonna... You ain't gonna fear the Lord and not believe the Lord. You ain't gonna believe in the Lord and not and not fear the Lord, man. And that's what these Christians have. They believe in the Lord. Right. They don't have no fear. Right. But they really don't even believe in the Lord. Yeah. Son, how do you fear the Lord, man? Follow the Lord's testament. That's why it was keeps us in constant sin, being us being that we're in this flesh. Why do you think it says a righteous man fall at seven times? Because the reason why we fall is because we're in this flesh. Because like Paul said, in me dwelleth no good thing. All right, go ahead. It says, uh, they answered him, we be Abraham's seed, and we never, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, we shall be made free? Yeah, this is the the, the skies of Pharisees. All right, go ahead. That was saying to see how Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Right. So whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Why are you a servant of sin? Because you commit sin. What is sin? The transgressions of the law. And as long as you're in this flesh, you're going to be in bondage. You're going to be continuously sinning. You're going to be continuously that servant of sin because you're in this flesh. You're in this chains of darkness. And guess who's the key to release us from the change of darkness? Yahweh Shai. OK? 
okay? Go ahead. It says, I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. Wait, what verse is that? Verse 38? No, uh, 35. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. It says, verse 35, And the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided ever. Right, because what did Yahweh Shai say? He that cometh after me shall receive eternal life. Okay? As long as you're in this flesh, you get, this flesh, it, it decayed and wasted away. All right? When our, when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes to change us, to give us these new bodies, these new bodies, we're going to live forever, man. All right? And the reason why we're going to live forever because we're never going to sin. The sin is the way to death. All right? So that proves that we're going to live forever, man. Because we're never going to sin. We're going to be immortal. Right. Go ahead. This is verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Right. Yeah, I was shy. He's the key to deliver us out of these chains of darkness. Okay? He's going to make us free. Uh, he's going to change us out of this vile body into the glorious body. That's why I think it says in 1 John that when we see him, we're going to be just like him. Yep. But we've been, we've been made free spiritually, but we're waiting for it to manifest physically. That's right. So we are free, man. You know, spiritually, man. Yeah. You know? A lot of our people are still in mental slavery. Yeah, man. And they got the audacity to think that they're free. That's why they got a thing called June 19th. Yeah, yeah, June 19th when Jake thinks that they, they, you know, they're celebrating the day that they were free from slavery. Oh, you mean Juneteenth? Yeah, Juneteenth. Yeah, June 19th. Oh, you told me I'm thinking like that. Yeah, June 19th? Oh, it's June 19th? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, Jake thinks they're free, man, but you're still in slavery because you don't know who you are. Or are you lost? Yeah. Okay? Got, got no clue. You want to call yourselves black? You want to call yourselves Mexicans? You want to call yourselves Native American? You're proud of it. You're proud of your culture. Your heritage, but your true heritage is that you're an Israelite. Right. Not that you're a Mexican, yeah. all right, or, or you're black, okay? So you're, you're an Israelite, you're a prince of the most high. That's the of God. That jewel teeth is more venom from the devil. Yeah. Now you further sleep. Yeah. Still slippery because you're standing with that curse. Having to go to the gender before you want to go to bed. But we're not a right now, you know? We gotta go to work tomorrow. Monday. About, you know? And you're looking forward to life? I mean, you're looking forward to Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> Shit. Being yeah. that this is life. Yeah. You're supposed to be free. If you're free, you'll be looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to life every day. You'll be yeah. looking forward to waking up, singing upon your beds like the scripture said. But you ain't doing that. Why? Because you're in captivity. Hey, you need a license to drive. You need a license to have a business. You, you gotta get the devil's permission just to open up a business, man. Or yeah, how are you free, man? Or to be a street vendor. Or to do, you know, you know? bound to social security, birth certificates, thing, bro. You gotta get permission to travel. You know, around the world, the world, the world. You ain't free. Your own woman's against you. How the fuck you free? Yeah, you're free to be wicked. That's what you're free to be. Uh, Second Ezra chapter six verse four. Uh, 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 five. And ere the present years were sought out, or ever the you gotta start the top off. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter six and one. And he said unto me, In the beginning when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the wind blew, before it thundered and lightened. Before ever the foundations of paradise were laid, before the, the fair flowers were seen, or ever the fruits of powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measure of the firmament were gained, or ever the chimneys and fires were hot, and ere the present years were sought out, or ever the invention of them that now sin was turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. So even before the, the beginning, 
the elect are pre predestined to have faith and gather the faith as a treasure. Alright, and it says um, the invention of sin are now termed, you know, they changed. Yeah, sin wax sin has gotten uh, worse and worse. You know, iniquity has a bound. Yeah. Like, like we see today in this world of how 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 wicked this world is and how wicked the inhabitants of the earth have become. Alright? Yeah, I got a piece of going into uh, our people aren't really free, man. Right. It's uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. It says, But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in the halls, and they are hid in prison houses. Yeah, America. This is one big prison camp for the Israelites. Yeah. You know, they have made this place their rest. You know, like you got Jake in prison, they, they you know, well, since I'm going to be here, I might as well make it look good and make it comfortable for me, you know, make this my home and shit, since I'm going to be here forever. Yeah. I got a life in this bitch. You got Jake decking out their goddamn prisons. For you Jakes, I like that, man. You have decked out your, 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 your ways, man. When you, when you made this place, you rest, you got comfortable being captivity. You got comfortable being, uh, being a slave. Yeah, going like, to work uh, every fucking day. You ever seen Maze Run? I made a fucking movie. Right. First one? I think I've seen some of them. Oh, yeah. You had, you had uh, one of the dudes, he was trying to stop the main character from leaving. Why? Because he wanted to, he, when he was scared, he wanted to remain in, in, in uh, captivity, man. Right? Yeah. Scared to leave and shit. That's how our people were, but that's how they were back then in Egypt, man. Yep, Same yep. souls were back. Yep. Right? Yeah. They wanted to go back to Egypt. And that's one thing that the Lord taught us not to be afraid, man. Uh, not to be a, not to, not to be fearful. It's, 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 it was the land. It's, it's the, it was the Lord's will that he, that he wanted to give us for the land. The Lord's with you. What, what, what is there to fear? The, the only thing the fear is the Lord. Exactly. And that's all you need. That's all you need to feed. You don't need to feel nothing else. Yeah, even in the hard moments, man, you got to trust the Lord. Yeah. Because he's having it hard for you. He's, he, he, he created that for you right there. The adversity. Yeah. And the Lord deals with adversity, man. Straight up, man. Hey, he sees fit that you can handle it. Man. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to put anything on you like that. You can't bear it, man. Yeah. That's what you I gotta keep coming to, coming to our mind when we face adversity. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Lord kills that adversity. That's the only way to grow. This is right. adversity, no matter what. Whether it's the church or the truth, whether it's your job, your hobbies, whatever it is that you're doing, man, you have to go through some adversity, some type of pain, so that you can grow. You have to challenge. Yes. You gotta grow through what you go through, man. Yeah, that's quoted in Hebrews, man. You know, uh, don't chastise me for the present, see the joy for the present. You know, truth comes out of it, man. You grow. The peaceable, uh, peaceable fruit uh, of righteousness. Of righteousness, you know, it comes forth out of it, man. Yeah. Meaning that you grow from it, you're stronger. Man. You might not even recognize the strength that the, that you gained from that, you know? Oh, yeah. But uh, another situation might pop up a couple years later to where, you know, you, you, you know how to navigate through it. Yeah. You, you, you realize, oh shit, you know, I'm, I'm been built up, you know? Back in Isaiah 42 and 22, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth them. In America, is that real prison, man. Yeah. This is the real prison our people are, are caught up in, man. They're trapped up everywhere, even Jake from the outside, man, you know. Man, you know, they're lost in the sun. Oh, yeah. You know, hey man, they're susceptible to, to these drugs, man, or to these gangs, to, to wickedness that is out there. Man. You know, like the prison planet. Yeah. But like the scriptures say, man, you know, this place is the valley of the shadow of death. You know, everywhere you look, man, you know, you know, there's death. It's so easy to be swayed out. All right, it says, they are for a prey and none deliberate, for a spoil. And done saved for sport. You know, you got no one you know, tell, telling uh, this devil man to, 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 to let go of this. Yeah, that go back to the curse of uh, speak of bondsmen and bondwomen. Yeah. And, and no man shall uh, save me. Yeah, except for your house shut. You know, he's our redeemer. He's who we're waiting for. He's coming back to save us from bondage. Yeah. We're in bondage. So we 
about to set us free. And it all starts with the truth. Yeah. Knowing the truth. Knowing who you are, having the true understanding of what you are reading. Like a brand job, yeah. So, so it's, you know, like the brother says, only how we try to save us. Uh, the scripture says that Redeemer is strong, the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. So only how we try to free us from this physical bondage. Yeah. Right. It takes patience, it takes suffering. You know? So it's, 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 Waiting is, is, is the hardest part. But uh, yeah, no, nothing uh nothing ever worth it, you know, was made easy. Yeah. Like the brother saying, man, you know, it takes adversity, man. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be pushed to your limit. Mm -hmm. well, that's what you say uh, nothing is ever worth it. There's a saying in the world, it's worth the wait. Yeah. It's worth the wait. What does patience go back to? It goes back to something. Yeah. More well, like uh have a good that we uh pray. Oh shit, but I'm going to watch that tonight, though. That showed you that. Hey, brother, don't worry. Oh, so that person. Why you got to mention that? Come on, brother. I'm going to say she. That's already good. Nah, I'm fucking around. Just hold it up. We'll talk about it next week, man. The second answer is chapter 4 and 33. Then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? And wherefore are our years few and evil? Yeah, Edgerson. He's asking all the, all the right questions. He was on it. Yeah, he was on it. But he was on it. It's for us. It's for our learning. Yeah, okay. yeah. And he answered me and said, Do not thou hasten above the Most High, highest? For thy haste is in vain to be above him, for thou hast much exceeded. Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things? Yeah, like, yeah, even uh, you know, the apostles, they asked, is this the time you have to have a child? When are you going to establish your kingdom on earth? What did have a child said? Before I could establish my kingdom on earth, these things must come to pass. Now, false anointed, uh, wars, rumors of wars, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Yep. The love of many is going to wax cold. Uh, you're going to have a uh, uh, prayer that you fight behind the winter. Oh, he, he, he broke it down, man. You have men and song back for how long? Bro, right. this is the mindset. We should be, we are in that mindset. To get free out of this fucking place. Spirit of haste. Man, our people, they want to be in this prison and shit. You know, we yeah, want to get the fuck they, out. They think this is the end all be all. They don't think there's nothing after this. What can be better than them the so-called white man? That's how they, that's how they think. What the drink say? Uh, 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 I can't imagine heaven being eaten. Than that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Over song, blessing. Okay. With Big Sean, I, I can never, I can never see heaven greater than this. But yeah, remember over the rest song, the first album. Uh, They, 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 um, they, they didn't get it. They didn't get it, but they're gonna get it anyway because they're here today. Uh, they're yeah, gonna receive it, but, but, but yeah, this is the time. Like, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, uh, no, no, he Paul said, now, now it's laid up to be a crown. He didn't get it in that time. He won't get it in this time. That's what you said. I got you, Akana. He was 11. Listen yeah. your yeah. eyes when you see no, and your that. ears when you, you hear. Okay. Uh, Many righteous no, men have desired to see. Matthew chapter 13, verse six, 16. It says, But blessed are your eyes, all right, for they see, and your eyes, for they hear. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Now we know that this is the end all be all, man. Yeah. That, 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 that something greater is coming to us. 
Hey, remember, yeah, I was trying to say, is it a good pleasure? Is it is the Father's good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom of heaven? Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, uh, if you read the verse above it, man, it speaks of our, you know, our people, man, their ears being dull and their eyes, you know, not being able to see, man. You know, they can't see the understanding. Like the brothers were mentioning that Drake song, man, you know, that they can't see anything past, you know, the, this, this, this devil's rulership. Well, why is that? Because they receive the consolation. Yeah. When you People distract with pride and yeah. riches, you think that this is it, man. I got it all. I need to show up the heart. Yeah, like they're set up to deceive our people. They're set up to push that mindset on our people, man. Yeah. To influence them. To go after that money and to try to attain, attain that so-called success. Which is not success. They ain't going to tell you what they had to do to get that shit. Yeah. They don't uh, tell you about what they have to go through at night, man. They yeah. don't tell you the demons they deal with. Yeah. Yeah. They don't tell you the, the Edomites they got to bow to. Sacrifices they had to make, you know, with their children, with their brothers, with their wives, all that shit. You know? It says, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard of them. Right. And they're all back today. Seeing and seeing. Yeah. And they were prophesying about that they were longing for it. Now they're able to see it with their own eyes. Well, they yeah. were seeing it outside. They were seeing, you know, everything that, that was prophesying outside in that time. It was fulfilling. Yeah, you know, and then, and then, you know, you got the things that we're witnessing today. Yeah. You know, I got to tell you. Yeah. It's uh, Hebrews 11 and 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. And, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's the one that gave me. Oh, that's it, big point. I was going to say it's another one, but it, it always, that scripture always reminds me of uh, the Red Book, from the Red Bible. Oh, yeah. But, uh, uh, that was that by I gave gave me one back when we was in downtown, probably like 2018. Yeah, gave me a, a red Bible, and uh, that scripture is written like in the, in the front, you know. Like whoever had it, it was used. Whoever had it wrote that scripture in the front. So I always I always makes me think of that. Acts one and six. When they were they therefore they come together. They asked of him, saying, Lord, if thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? That's the mindset, man. Mm -hmm. Ready to get the fuck out of here, man. That's the mindset. Like, we got to be here, you know? We got to be ready to get the hell up out of here, man. We got to be ready to drop off. Oh, give up. Drop everything just like Peter and Andrew did. All right? And, and follow after the Lord. Right. Ready to flee from this place, man. Because this day, this judgment can happen at any moment. Go ahead. He said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. Yeah, we can't give an exact date, an exact time that that this kingdom, this world is going to be destroyed. All right, Esau's kingdom is going to be destroyed. We can't give an exact date. All right, we know it's coming. All right, go ahead. By the prophecy. All right. Well, what I was with Matthew 24. How much I gave us a list of prophecies to look forward to. That's right. And we're seeing those prophecies coming past right now. And there's a few of them on the verge. You know, like the ship, rock, World War III, all this is on the earth, man. Famine. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. That's right. And ye shall be witnesses of me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and in the uttermost part of the earth. Thank you. After Yahushua got beamed up, and the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles, and they started speaking in other languages. Or they started healing the sick. All right, you read that in the, in the accounts of Acts, man. All right, and they were made a witness unto Yahweh. The same thing can happen again. All right, miracles are coming in a big way. All right, we're here to declare and make known the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We're here to glorify those names. Those names have, have been, um, it's now well known throughout the earth. And the Lord's going to make his name known among his, us. All right, one of, one of the ways besides bringing judgment is making his name known to us by giving his servants powers to heal, all right, 
And when you go to the book of Acts, the third chapter, Peter, uh, when they were trying to praise Peter and John, they in the lane. Peter said, don't go up for us. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Because yeah. we got to make known the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, of his works, of his power. You don't exalt the Lord, nothing happened. Right. Because we didn't get none of us uh, uh, of ourselves. Hey, the Lord said that um, the, the Lord has power to raise rocks. Yep, yep, yep. So he don't need us. Right. He, don't, he don't need it. He, he can have he got rocks prophesied, man. All right, but 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 he's using us for his good pleasure, right, for his Jacob, good will. Jacob's making a big deal that they're the sons of the seeds of Abraham. Right. It's like all right. He's still entitled to the kingdom. Right, right. It's like nah, man. That's not how it works. And I was trying to say, uh, uh, all this shall make it in heaven before you. Uh, to throw that to the wood of the very Look at Gideon. Why did the Lord choose 300 men out of all those men? Now take it down. Because they don't think it's for them. Right. The Lord don't want you to think it's of yourself. He wants you to glorify Him. All uh, right. Why do you think you have angels that constantly praise Him? Yeah. On look a, at on Big Now. Flower basis. Big Now. Every rap song is big up himself. Right. Or, or, or every Instagram video is all about. Look at me. Yeah. That me, me, me. Look what I'm doing. Look what I have. You know. Look at look, this, this thing's all about you. They think the world revolves around them. No, the world revolves around Yahweh Shai. Everything's about Yahweh Shai, the Creator. It's all about Him. And that's why the Lord has set us up to glorify and make known His name. That's right. That's one way that He's going to uh, make known His name. But another way is through what He's about to do. That's right. All right. Yeah, we're it, just vessels. Right. We're, we're vessels that the Lord uses. Okay, a vessel that he can dispose at any time. Yeah, what the fuck is a saxophone? Ain't nobody, you know? Yeah, hey, that's ain't hey. nobody using that motherfucker. Man. What he tell? What he tell the Syrians? Well, and really, modern day Esau today. Uh, as in the tenth chapter, trying to ask both himself against yeah. them that you with it. We try to solve, uh, magnify, magnify himself against one that shaky it, man. It's an instrument. It's an instrument. So just like us, we're instruments to do the Lord's work, to prophesize it. Prophesied word. Okay. Right. Basketball ain't shit. Motherfucker ain't shooting it. He's right. Not dribbling it. It ain't so, the basketball. It's the person. We ain't shit if the Lord ain't speaking to us. If, he, if yep. we don't have His Holy Spirit that He that give us, because that's what keeps us thriving. That's what keeps us living, work on a day to day basis. That's right. Five percent shake. That's all like a flash. Isaiah 42 and 10, sing unto the Lord a new song of praise and his praise from the end of the earth. He that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the owls and the inhabitants thereof. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Hey, hey, what are we singing is truth, man. When, when the electors deliver, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to praise you, how about you, how shot, man? You've been praising it. All right, and it says, and his praise from the ends of the earth. So how do you praise someone? You acknowledge their name, you right. glorify their name. You get Psalm 57. Soon the whole earth is going to hear this singing, man. Because the, the scripture do say, the, this gospel shall be preached unto the end of the, 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 the world. Four corners of the earth. Four corners of the earth. What's Psalm 57? Uh, Psalm 57, 7. My heart is fixed. Oh, Yahweh. My heart is fixed. I will sing and get praise. I right, sing and get praise. Praise the Most High for His mighty works. Praise the Most High for His mercy, for the salvation. All right, go ahead. Wake up, my glory. Wait, psaltery and harp. Myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. And that's what we're doing. We're praising Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shah. That's why we start this lesson off. We're doing what? Praising the Mosai. Rakhta Yahweh, Rakhta Yahweh Shah. Rakhta Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shah. Talk about Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shah. This is all about Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why we're supposed to praise him, man. We're supposed to acknowledge him all that way. Right. Even if you get to work on time, you're kind of late, but you make it on time. Praise him. You know? Hey, uh, someone gives you a $20 tip. 
brace close up. Hey, you, you about to slip, almost fall. But you, 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 you're able to uh, 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 stand up. You're able to catch, catch yourself. You pray, you pray the most high. Even if you fall, you may hurt. You praise the most high. Okay? You praise the most high. Everything. I acknowledge him in all his ways. Give me in the box, man. Right. Uh, I'm keeping it real, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, done been in, I done been in some box, bro, you know? Back shots. I'm praising the Lord, man. Hey. I ain't forgot. I ain't forgot about you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you threw me this bone. <laughs> oh, yeah. You meet a chick that night and end up slaying it? Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord, man. Yeah. Uh, For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O Most High, above the heavens. And the Most High is exalted above the heavens already. Right. But go ahead. Be thou exalted, O Most High, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. And the time is coming where he's about to be glorified here on earth, man. Where all, every, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Yep. That Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai is the true and only God. And all the gods that these people have been worshiping this whole goddamn time, nothing but idols. Okay? Everyone's going to know that the Lord is the true God. And that will shall be done as it is in heaven or as it is in heaven. As, as it is in heaven. Let that will be done in heaven as it is, is on earth. earth. And what is, what, what is done in the heaven? The, the glorification of the Abba Shemal Shah is going to be on the earth. All right. And perfection too. Yeah. And so Hebrews, I mean, Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Yeah, because everyone's going to know that's not about themselves. It was never about themselves. It's all about Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, because the day's coming where he's going to be exalted in that day. All right, it's all right. good to say that. It's to say that the Lord humbles himself just to look at his creation. You know? That's like, wow. <laughs> He's the high and lofty one, you know. Even for all your abilities, all that, you gotta give praise to Yahweh Shimon Shai. Man, uh, you know all your abilities, man. I you gotta, go, go ahead, uh, you got it. Uh, you got it, bro. I remember one time, uh, I'm not a good basketball player, but one time I was playing basketball. Ah, uh, and you had going up. I had this other guy. He didn't know how to play for shit. We both so we're, we're playing against these two niggas that been talking shit this whole fucking talking shit the whole class. So the teachers got tired of it and just hey, took us to the gym. And I was uh, making all them shots. I was making uh, all them shots. And I'm like, wow, this is the Lord. I can't believe this shit. Uh, I'm crazy. I was busting out shot and everything, man. Because uh, he's the one. All right, well, uh, <laughs> um, I better give it to them. Coach Curry shots. What's that, shot, uh, what's that one switch? Um, Curry and Kobe and shit. We be King David with the works that he was doing. What did he do? He praised the most high. Oh, yeah. Okay, because nothing's of yourself. You praise the Lord with the heart. Right. You can speak. Who gave you the spirit of speak? Bring out the precepts, the line, the puzzles. This word is a puzzle. Yeah. You got aligned it with the precepts. King David said, do thy precepts to get understanding. Okay, so who gave you the spirit? The Lord. Glorify him. Praise him right. in everything, man. That's right. Okay, you can't do nothing without him. Go ahead. So 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Lord and Yahweh Shai HaMashiach concerning you. And everything give thanks, even, even in the bad. Yeah. Not just in the good, even in the bad. You want to go into the fire. Because it shows that the Lord is dealing with you. Show you and shows integrity too. Right. But Not you know, just, that's a level, that's a certain level. Yeah. You know, because they, you might not think the Lord in that moment, you think the Lord next day or something. Or you may be just thinking or meditating, you remember, oh, I remember this. Yep. And like, the Lord did this for me. Yep. I, got, I, got, I was put in a bad situation, but the Lord got me out of it. And I didn't think of Lord, water. Man, always, man. Always. Grace. Man, if you just count how many times you've been thinking the Lord all day, man, you know? It's innumerable, man. I get that thought. Say no more, bro. bro. Oh, it's like I be in the shower and just thinking, praise the Lord, you know? Like, oh, man. Why you have a good man. Hey, just to be you brought know, out of the darkness of this world, man. Yeah, man, yeah. To be brought back to the light, man. They all praise oh, to you, Just to be able to come out here and teach this word, man. Yeah. 
You know, it's, it's, it's beautiful, man. You know, we're in the elements. But that shit don't matter, man. Yeah. We'll deal with the food. We'll deal with the cold, you know? We still have brothers that are like mine. You know, that's the best one right there, man. Yeah. You know? Sirach chapter 43 and verse 30. When he glorified the Lord, exalt mm. him as much as he can. Beautiful, bro. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt, when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For ye can never go far enough. Man, man think about it. Go man. praise the most high. You can never go far enough for praising the most high. Why you think you got angels? You want to see praise him? All day, every day. Every day, man. That show you that you will never reach a point to where you you, you glorify the Lord enough. Yeah. His yeah. majesty and his, his excellence is so much, man. It's so magnificent, man. You know? Not the baby, we shall praise. Praise. That's to be the count. I'm trying to think of it. What? Where uh, someone just glorified the Lord and uh, Herod. Oh! Oh, yeah, the rock. Yeah. He said, I instead of the Lord, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because if you don't, we can't do none of, none of us ourselves, even with like going out on the highways and byways. We're not doing this of ourselves. The reason why we're doing it because the Holy Spirit is upon us. The Lord has gifted us with faith to do this work, man. And this is the best gift that man can ever see have you know look at other people's gifts you think there's great but not nah, the greatest gift that you can have is to, 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 to have faith and to have the holy spirit to do the work man that's the greatest gift that a man could ever have that's what that's what is truly precious okay and that's why paul said i can do all things through yeah. that i was shy and quickness and i was shy and strengthened that's right and he was giving credit to the lord for everything how can you not? Hey, uh, I be playing with my seeds or just be in my house watching my seeds, just playing praising the Lord, man. Like, wow. I remember why I didn't have no seeds, man. I remember why I have shit. You know? Dude, I be laying in my bed praising the Lord. The fact that I got somewhere to lay, man, I remember why I didn't have nowhere to lay, man. All of that, man. Further going into well, it's the spirit of the Lord that's moving us, from starting from our bosses down. All right, it's all uh, Second Peter's chapter one verse twenty. It says, "Knowing this first, that no prophecy or scripture is of any private interpretation." It says, "For the prophecy came not in old time, but by it's like it, not in old time by the will of man, but of holy men of the Lord spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit." So, amen. Well, no prophecy was, you know, given. You know, the man just made it up, man. No, no scriptures of any private interpretation, man. That was all the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know that our that was on our apostles and our elders. You know, and, and their elders. All right. Yeah, that was that was good. And like Apostle Bar said, the Holy Spirit is like the engine. Yeah. Oh, no, moving us. It's like the, the battery source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why in certain instances they were saying the scriptures, the spirit of the Lord was upon me. Yeah. Real quick. Uh, as, uh, Psalms 105 and 1. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Alright. And we're, and we're, and we're, uh, we're making the deeds known among the people by going out on the highways of power and proclaiming the prophecy. All right, what, what we say, when there's judgment that happens in the street, we're telling the people that the Lord's the one that did it. The Lord's the both good and evil, light and darkness, man. He has right-hand side and left-hand side. Go ahead. People don't know the Lord loves judgment. Man, I got I got to go down. Psalms 105 and verse 2. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wonderful, wondrous works. All right, all his wondrous works. The Lord has done infinite of wondrous works, man. 
you know, go on our whole life talking about the works of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Alright? Because they're great, they're terrible. Alright, what are we going to do in the kingdom of heaven, man? We're going to be dancing, praising the Most High. Every song is going to be about the Lord. Every right. Every song now is about the Lord. Every lyrics is going to be about the Lord. Every song we make that thing up, us make tracks, you know? I'm talking about yeah. all Israel, though. No, I know, I'm saying. But right now, the brothers that are in the spirit, every song is about the Lord. Every song is praising the Lord. I got three seven. The Psalm uh, 28 and 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. Take my water out. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. And my song will I praise him. Doctrine. They know that the Israelites, that they may believe that uh, uh, the Paragma is Christianity, the Paragma is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, a way of a mindset, like they want right. a mindset. Sleeping with Edomites. Yeah, <laughs> man, you may believe in mermaids or believe in Esau from making this shit. <laughs> so you gotta praise the Lord that he brought you to the right group. Which group is that? He brought you to the right prep men that he's dealing with, which are our apostles of Great Millstone. They got the right name, right? They got the right name. They got the, the perfect, the right doctrine. And that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You can't get it. Ultimately, that's the most like blocking you from not getting it. That's why you got to incorporate to see the truth, man. That's right. Uh, yeah. I got to preach that box. Go ahead. It's uh, Psalms 145 and 1. It says, I will extol thee my power, O my king. And I will bless thy name forever and ever. Ever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, Yahweh Shem right? Yep, every day. Great is the Lord, Yahweh Shem and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Ooh. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. Right, because you're going to pass down. And the Lord did us did this for us uh, 40 years ago. The Lord did this for us a thousand years ago, you know? It says, One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty works or acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. One of the things we always bring up is Noah, and the flood and us getting out of Egypt. Oh, yeah. You know, we consistently go into that. We praise the Lord for delivering us from Egypt. You know, everything. Yeah. It says, they shall abundantly utter the memory of thy good, of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endure throughout all the generations. Um, it goes down, man. It, it keeps going, man. I can keep going. Can you keep going? I'm trying to look for something. It says, The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfies the, the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. And, you know, hey, the Lord has always wants you to be 
reminded of his works. Why do you think we have the flood? And we're being reminded just by going, looking on the earth, looking at the maps, how one time, how the earth was in one, one form, one, like one, uh, it was all in formation on the earth. It's called Pangaea, right? And you had, what's, what split at the earth? All right, the, 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 the Americas from, from, this, from Europe, the flood. All right, and we're, we're reminded of that. We're reminded of what the Lord did in Sodom and Gomorrah. And guess what? We're going to be reminded of the works that the Lord is about to do now by destroying the United States of America with fire, nuclear missiles, man. All right? The whole earth is going to see the smoke. Right. We're going to see the smoke coming from uh, America. This is uh, COVID 13 and 7. I will extol my power, and my soul shall praise the King of, of heaven and shall rejoice in his greatness. Let all men speak, and let all praise him for his righteousness. It says, O Jerusalem, the holy, holy city, he will scourge thee for thy children's works, and will have mercy again on the sons of the righteous. Right. We are the righteous. Our sons are the elect of Israel, man. All right. We're going to praise you. How much you know? Rashad, get to Surah 17 and 6. The elect shall praise his holy name. 17 and 10. Surah 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Right, and what's his name? Yahweh was the father's name, which means he to be, he exists. Yahweh Shai is his son, which means he delivered, he's the savior. So praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Hebrew call a law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because our praises, you can, like we read in Surah 43, we can never go far enough, man. Who's going to praise the most high? It's also, all sorts of the elect. All right, yeah, chosen. Yeah. You have his creation praising him too. All right. You know, the animals cry to the Lord, all of that, man. You know? I got something. Go ahead. So, Sirach 13 14. Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta love the Lord all that and call your life, man. You're rejoicing, you have to do his work, walk in faith, man. Call upon that name for that salvation. <laughs> Ultimately, we're going to miss it from, man, because that's the main salvation that you need. That's the main reason why we're going to pray. I mean, I mean, our praise. The Lord takes us out from this place, man. We want to see how we shot here. It says in Timothy, to those that love disappearing. Yeah. All right, what do you think we're going to do? Well, the rest of the world freaking out. Oh, my goodness, Ada was being invaded. We're going to be there praising how we shot. All right. I like that, man. God. Yeah. Huh? Same. Oh yeah. Woke up my head too. You know what I can't hear you. What you say? The same. I woke up raising the Lord like, like I'll get a vision. You know what I'm saying? The same thing. Where I woke up my hands are real tight, like I'm feeling the tense. You know? Is just jumping up and down with all my might. Man, see how we shy, how we shy, you know? Seeing chariots in the sky. Yeah. Said it was a dream, ain't it? I mean, you know. Of yeah. <laughs> course, Will, man. You know. But I, I don't have, you know, I don't have dreams like that. So. Yeah, because it's a vision, brother. Nah, uh, nah, uh, I'll take that, brother. <laughs> Even when you get attacked in your sleep by a demon and shit. Yeah. And you call on the name, the Lord delivered you, wake well, up, praising the most high. That happened to me the other night, man. I didn't get attacked, but I had a like, demonic dream, like a demon was fucking with me and shit. You know, like, you know how, yeah, they call it paranormal activity. Well, I was dealing with that in my dream. I call on the name, you know? In the dream, you know? Yeah. Everything was all right. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9 And after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues. Oh no brother, all nations can make it now. <laughs> no, all nations is referring to these people yeah. that that have been scattered amongst all the nations. The nations. Yeah, how can he start making it if the Lord hate them? Yeah. Well, and it says, kindreds and people and tongues still before the, the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And they cry with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and to the, unto the Lamb. So, there we go. Um, wait, wait, keep going. 
And it says all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne of their uh, throne of their faces and worshipped. Yahweh saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving hey. and honor and power and might be unto Yahweh by Shimei Shai forever and ever. Amen. Hey, so that the, this is the elders of the four beasts, right? Uh -huh. It represents angels. They praise the Most High, man. But even before that, the, the, the yeah. multitude, right. they, they, they cried out with a loud voice. Pretty much praising Yahweh Shemel Shai, they were like, salvation to our God who sit upon the throne and to the Lamb. They were praising Yahweh Shemel Shai. All, right. all together. All, all right. the elect and the, the remnant. And all his, we'll see all his creation. We'll praise Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. All right? So most High is supposed to be feared and worshipped. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to read this whole chapter out. Go ahead. So, Revelation 4, 1. After this, I... After this I looked, and behold, the door was open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a, like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, and sight like unto an emerald. And around about the throne were four and twenty seats. Yeah, because what John was seeing, he was seeing the whole side. Go ahead, go ahead, you got it? Let's get some else. Fun. It says, and round up that. Just free, man. You know, pretty little team. Little team. Black and common, huh? Yeah. Go ahead. With the cane. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they, they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunders and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of the Most High. Yeah, the, uh, what it says, the four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment. Yeah, these are angels. Yeah. Okay. Give Go me ahead. a little insight on, on the spiritual realm. The spiritual right. realm. It says, and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face of man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle, and the fourth beast had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night saying and I lines up with uh, Ezekiel the first chapter which it says the lion the ox uh, yeah, man, the man the face of the man I believe the lion represents courage the ox represents strength the, the man represents intelligence the, 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 the wings as eagles represent swiftness the face of a man represents wisdom no. alright go ahead so I can what do you mean? It says, and they rest not day and night, say, here's the point. And they rest not day and night, say, Holy, 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 Lord, power almighty, Yahweh Shemel Shad, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who live it forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that live it forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for that pleasure they are and were created. Hey, the angel is praising how much from Yahweh Shai. It says oh. they rest not day and night. All right, so that means they praising Him right now, every day, every second. All right, other day, the Lord is being praised. This is his origin. He's the creator. Okay? Where is creation? That ain't even enough. All right, and, and the scripture says that the uh, the creature uh, they worship the creature or the creation more than the uh, Romans the first chapter more yeah. than the more than the creator. All right, we're supposed this to worship one. the creator, not his creation. But I, the world has come down to where they're worshiping his creation. All right, they're seeing as they're seeing the trees, the moons, the waters as yeah. gods, which 
which they're nothing but gods. They're, 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 what they're, what they're worshiping is idols. You're supposed to worship the, the, the creator, man. Right, just going to say, look upon a rainbow and, and, and praise him that made it. Right. Oh. Not, so you're supposed to look upon all his creation and praise him. Uh, you know, you see a beautiful tree, man, praise the Lord. You see a beautiful bird gliding through, you know? Praise the Lord, man. In fact, the praise here, in uh, fact, how to praise the Lord here. All right, well, then when we get the new bodies, my willing, that's when we're going to really know how to praise the Lord. Because we're going to see how the Lord, man, imagine you're an angel and you, you see what the Lord do every second. You will be like, holy shit, I got to praise him. Like, it's like being in front of a, a, somebody you admire and just praise him. Like, you know? We're just going to praise the Lord now, we're just going to be able to praise him that much more. We're all our strength, man. You know, oh wait, that was a good chapter. Four? Yeah, Revelation. You even got precepts? You saying the book? Yeah. Man, give you a little insight, man. But it just show you how, how magnificent the Lord, Lord is, how glorious He is. And how He wants to be worshipped and praised. And how yeah, is coming back to get his, his honor, His worship, His glory. Okay? Because the world ain't, ain't reverencing the Lord at all, whatsoever. Yeah, you know, that's why the scriptures say he had a new a, a name written which no man knows. This world don't know his name, man. They don't know the Lord, man. What do they know? They know Jesus goddamn Christ, man. You know? That ain't, that ain't, that ain't the Lord's name. Okay? But you're going to know it when you battle him. You know, you're going to know it when his name is declared throughout the whole earth. That's part of the reason why the Lord is going to... Uh, where the Lord is allowing Esau to do what he do. Just like he allowed Pharaoh to do what he do. So his name can be declared throughout the whole earth and make an example out of his ass, man. You know? That's right. Revelations chapter 22 and 4. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Dealing with the elect. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle, need the light of the sun. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, give them light. And they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These faithful, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, of the holy prophets, sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass. Like, like the temple, um, oh, must surely be done. Like the angel that came to um, Esther's. He broke it down to what's going to happen at the end times, man. You know, all the all, all the prophecies. We, we say the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is what? The angels. Because they're the ones that are sent to minister unto you, in order to be out of blessing, out of shot. Okay? Uh, we got anyone got anything to say? I got some out of the way. This is uh, Exodus 15 and 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider have been thrown into the sea. The Halbat Shemel Shah is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. He is my power, and I will prepare him in habitation, my father's power. And I will exhort him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host have been cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned into the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sink into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, have dashed in pieces the enemy. And in the greatness of thine excellency, Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. It goes on. I'll jump down to 11. Who is, a, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful of praises, doing wonders? You know, there's no power like our power, man. Yeah. Our power is omnipotent, omnipresent. All of it, man. You gonna fall short trying to find the right words to, you know. Ain't no, you know. 
Hey, enough uh, uh, words. I pray, you know. No, I got free stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Philippians 2 and 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Speaking of Yahweh's side, man. Even the death of the cross. Obedient unto death because that was the Father's will. It pleased the Lord, it bruised the Lord. You know, and that's how much family and father loved us. He said it's only begotten. You know, to be the uh, sacrifice for us. Go ahead. Wherefore the most high also hath highly insulted him. He's been like you have a child. You know? Go ahead. He's given him a name. Which is above every name. At that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of the things in heaven, and the things in earth, and the things under the earth. And that's, 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 uh, uh, uh soon gonna happen, man. When he returns and receives his glory, man. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord, in the glory of the Most High, Father. So yeah, Yahweh Shai is gonna get his glory, man. He's gonna get his praise when he comes back. Every knee's gonna bow down, man. He said, every knee, heaven, and earth, and under the earth. Man. Everybody's gonna bow down and confess the name of Yahweh Shai, man. And hey, bro, in that day, people are gonna be like, who is that? Right. They're what is go. that? They're gonna know. He's like, you know who he is, man. He's gonna be our Lord. He's already receiving his praise in the heavens. He's already receiving his glory in the heavens. He's just gotta get his glory right here on earth, man. That's right. It's, it's his kingdom, man. This planet Earth. As well as the whole galaxy. His creation. He's created everything. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's all about that praise. He's going to get that recognition and that praise, man. That's why the Lord, the Heavenly Father, had it to where when Yahweh was child was born as himself on the earth, he sent men to worship him, man. He sent men to worship him. So he was immediately worshipped. As a, as a, as a newborn, man, he worshipped. You know? Yeah, Which one of you motherfuckers on this earth as a newborn was worshiped, man? Yeah. You know? You got guys out here saying that you're not supposed to look crazy, how was shy, not supposed to worship that was shy, man. These guys are going to be destroyed, man. The other ones that are bound down first, you know, long to be left. So they're going to be dead. So, uh, like that was just Yeah, he got one. Oh, you got one? No. Second. I thought that brother the car was going to come, man. He said he was going to come around, too. No, Second so, Samuel chapter 22, verse 1. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song. In the day the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress my deliverer, Yahweh, the God, Yahweh Shemel Shai, of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my house, my high tower, and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. When the waves of death can pass me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell can pass me about. The snares of death defended me. And in my distress, I cried upon the Lord and cried to my God, Yahweh Shimei Shai. And he did hear my voice out of his temple. God, that's what we gotta do this time, man. When the death can pass you, when the enemy comes in like a flood, and we pass around about this time, and that's what you've got to do. It's all on Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. He said the horn of your salvation, you know, that's the horn. The horn is your power. To save that any situation, it's going to be Yahweh Shai, man. That's your true power, right? That's name. And then the name of the Lord is a strong power and a righteous one, and a faith. Right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And did he hear my voice out of his temple? And my cry did enter into his ear. That's right. say the uh, cries and the prayers of the righteous out of the clouds, man. Your prayers, I believe he's hearing that, man. He's praying the correct name. Hey. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I was trying to say, be careful. What you do to these little ones. Yeah. The angels are always going to the face of their fathers. 
So as soon as you call in the name, the angel's right there to deliver your prayer. And then you don't have to, you know, if you need to be saved from death, you call in the name. Don't you don't think you have to wait a year or, or an hour or 23 minutes like you put, what you went, we do with 911. No, it's, it's instant. Uh, yeah. You know, instant, man. Well, the scripture say, Psalm 46 and 1, the Lord is a present help in a time of trouble. All right. So the Lord is always present. Always, man. You know, he ain't taking no breaks. He ain't on vacation. The angel of the Lord encampeth about them that fear him and deliver him. We got angels about us right now. Believe it or not. The Lord is going to put you in that trouble. Yep. That's what you got to realize, you know. No matter how you feel about it, you got to realize, all right, man. Lord will, man. I'm dealing with it. You know? Although it might, might, you know, certain things might be inconveniences. Whatever, man. Get past it. And, and, and deal with it. And like we were talking about, it pleased the most high to bruise. And I was shy. It's favorite. It's first. The one that he gave the blueprint to create everything. He, he had him go on the cross. So how much he thought you know, deal, how much more he's going to deal with us than he loves. Go ahead. Yeah, Then the earth, oh, you got something? Then the, then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wrought. There come up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire came out of his mouth devoured. Poles were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. And he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pavilions round about him, dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundereth from heaven, and the Most High uttereth his voice. And he went out, and he sent out arrows, and scattered them, lightning, and discomfited them. And the candles of the sea appeared, the channels of the sea appeared, the foundation of the world were discovered, and at the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils, he sent from above, and he took me and threw me out of many waters. Of uh, what you uh, 17. So the Lord rescued David. And he, and he delivered me from a strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. Hey, just like Esau, they have perfect hatred for us. All right, and they're gonna come. They're gonna show that hatred in Iraq. Guess who's gonna deliver us? Guess who's gonna rise up the standard against the enemy that when he rolls in like a flood? The how much you now shy, man. All right, he, he, he knows how to deliver the righteous from temptation. And the scriptures talk about Michael standing up for for the elect, pretty much. You know, that's right. It's gonna be like a time of trouble, like never since there was a nation. And he talks about Michael standing up. So in that times the elect gonna cry out to the Lord, and guess what? He's gonna send his men, he's gonna send, you know, he's gonna send angels. And Yahweh Shah is gonna come back. That's right. So the book of Sarah, chapter 2, verse 6. It says, Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in Him, and your reward shall not fail. So you gotta carry yourself with that faith, man, when you're giving praise to see how God should be all shy that so He's gonna help you in your time of need. Alright? Because you're, 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 you're praising Him right now about things that are somewhat okay, man. But, you know, right? So uh, we're hoping you will be delivered, you know, when uh, all this trouble comes. Right. We gotta praise him while the good day is not not here. Yeah. You can't just praise him, you can't just call upon him during the evil times. Something bad happens to you. 
Hey, what is? Oh yeah, Danny. Hey, all praises. 